Okay. Are we live? Okay. Seems like it. Right then. Uh, I did a little something off stream. I made a uh, military science blueprint for the rail blocks we're using this time. Um, if I could just remember where I put them. There it is. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to get blocked by that stone mine. And I do want to make sure we eat all of that up. So I think we'll put the military signs down this way. That still puts all of the uh, basic science pack production next to each other. Um, why is this train just sitting here? Seems to be... I think this sector needs some more, uh, more signals. And we don't need one on the other side. Cool. That should be a pretty easy fix. Uh, also... I don't think it's because this train is blocking anything. It's this one here. Uh, rather than send this train back... Let's bring it over to somewhere useful, just in case I need some more stuff to build this thing, which I'm sure I will. And there we go. Processing unit train is dropping off processing units. And there goes our yellow science again. How much have we got here? 200,000. It's almost full already. Cool. Uh, so, let's get started here. We're going to need some landfill. And this part as well. Um, let's make sure we... Rescue the fishies first. And then landfill. Go burr. Let's see if that's enough. No, I think we need the roundabout here. Save all the fish, indeed. Whiskers, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, that should maybe be enough. Yep. Except I'm not personally carrying enough uh, landfill to get the job done. And let's grab our blueprint. And get started. Not that many machines involved for this one, because it's another one of those situations where it's bottlenecked on the belt throughput. Coal, uh, for grenades, coal alone requires 180 per second. Uh, I think there's a similar amount of iron plate that we need. Oh, uh, stone brick is 180 per second. This is like 150 something per second. Steel is quite slow, and copper plate is less than two belts. I just wish there was a way to put fish back into water bodies. Yeah, that'd be nice.
Uh, let's grab some rail. That should be enough. And don't get, forget some undergrounds and splitters. I also need more chests. There's a lot of empty space in this build, but it can't really be helped. Theoretically, I could make a whole block making grenades, making piercing ammo, and we've already got one making stone brick. But overall, we're not going to need that much military science. Or we could, also, we could always double this block. Anyway, if it does come to that. I think my bots are upset with me. I haven't powered them properly. Let's give them a hug. By which I mean make them skip the part where they recharge, or at least require energy to recharge. Hug a bot today? Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, we need some more blue undergrounds. Seems like we've already placed... Oh, right. We haven't placed all the ordinary belt because too much bot energy required. Uh, let's put some of this back. And I think the construction spiders will be here before I can finish this job myself. Also need some more uh, speed modules. Oh, and assembly machines. Well, I can do that. Uh, the spiders are already here. Let's just let them do their thing. I'll just hang around in case there's something easier to fix directly than by remote. Oh, here we go. Got to make sure we've got that bit of rail. And we have to, unfortunately, wait for the landfill to be filled out before we can place the rest of the rail. There should... Uh, I was going to say there should already be trains... Scheduled to come here, bringing iron, copper, steel, and coal. But uh, iron might take a little while, but I'm surprised the rest of them are taking their sweet time. Combinator is switched on. And so is this one. LTN's just dragging its feet a little bit. I wonder why. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. Okay. That goes there. And then, um, I'll just make doubly sure that we've finished this build. Sounds like something just got added. But I think that's just about it. A couple of bits of belt or something over here. So, here we have... Uh, 180 coal and stone brick in per second, 166 iron plate, a bit under two belts of copper, not very much steel. And ultimately all that gets us is 33.6 uh, 
Military science packs per... Oh. Oh. That's, uh, something that needs changing. Okay, let's turn off these train stops before... Uh... Before the goods arrive. I kind of forgot to prod module the military signs because everything else here can only use speed modules. So that's going to be way more wall than we can consume. Actually, yeah, we're going to be able to support a few more of these, but I think I think we can only fit one more if we continue this pattern. Uh, if we have that belt go north and then turn down to the south, we could probably fit uh, a couple more of these. How many tiles does that leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, it's like what? 14 tiles wide or something. 15, yeah. And this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Uh, this is definitely going to be far more wall than we need now. I guess we can... We can either support all of these with just one machine... Uh, yeah. So I might, I don't know, reshaping this is going to be a little bit awkward. Um, but just one machine making walls here is going to be more than enough. Wall. And does it even need speed modules? Just a little bit. And speed module? Two speed modules. And we can't use prods, the rest is efficiency. That gives us positive walls. And how fast does this output? 4.5 per second. So I think we just use fast inserters for this now. And that's a bit short for an underground, but yeah, that is a bit short for an underground. Okay. So that's going to be how we do things here. And then we'll copy the paste that across. All good. We're obviously not going to need 180 stone brick per second either. Um, this is already down to 90. A little bit less than 90 actually. But we're going to add two more of these. Uh, so, let's remove all of this belt here. And I'm going to put in the combinatorless balanced unloader that goes up this way. Um, I've left things a little bit confused because... These three belts are the stone brick, and this one is the other stuff. I don't want to change that, though. Um, we can just put our... Lane balancer here, I think. And 
this goes down here. Good enough. And then... I haven't done this before, but that's actually a pretty... Oh. That should actually be a pretty good fit. Yeah, I like that. I could do the one that comes straight out of the rail, but then the belts have to all sort of snake up there. I think this looks a little bit better. And then a corner. A few more undergrounds. So those are all getting where they need to go, except I forgot we're going to move all of these over to the side a bit. I'll put it over here so we can see exact, uh, exactly how many we can fit. And then this goes here. That's very nearly perfect. Um, all we have to do is make a little exception here. Okay. So once we've got all of the prod modules in place here, Let's see how much we're going to get out of this. That is going to be... Drumroll. More prods, please. There we go. Uh, 28 military science packs per second. We're actually losing a little bit of throughput compared to the speed modules that we had. Um, I don't suppose I could double this down here. Do we have the throughput to support that? Let's see. Um, 135 stone brick per second. We can't double it. I mean, it is going to consume a little bit less than 135 per second, but it's not going to go down to 90, considering we're getting 180 out of this station. Um, I don't know about the ratios of the other things coming in as well. I think it's probably plenty. This is actually... We've got nearly double the grenades that we need. Um, like 70 to 80% more. Uh, about 70% more than we need grenade-wise. Same goes for piercing rounds as the actual bottleneck if we want to bump this up a bit. So I think what we'll do is add two more machines coming down here. Maybe three, though I doubt it. Um, I could measure it this way. If we multiply this out to 6, that gives a 16.2 piercing round mags per second. Our maximum is 17.5. So if we go to 7, that's too much. Okay, perfect. Um, kind of want to preserve this bit that we've done already. One two. And then this bit needs to become an underground again. Copy this. 
And then we need a beacon that doesn't touch those two. That's actually slightly problematic. But we've got plenty of room to move all of these belts down a little bit. So we'll do that first and then move the machines back up a tile. Uh, this goes... If I do it here, we don't have room for the underground that we're going to need. So one more. And then this goes here. And then this one doesn't have an output. Perfect. Um, at this rate, I'm thinking it's better if the underground actually... Jumps out this way. And we'll have it merge in like this. Might be a little bit better. Or we could do it like this. I think that'd be a cleaner look. That's, that's better, definitely. Alright, so let's just check we're still getting less than one belt out of all of this. 42.76, uh, that is quite good. Close to one belt. Nice. So, substation goes here. Uh, we're going to have same thing over this way. That's going to be a weird fit. I guess we'll do it like this. And then block the left. And then. Copy that across, except the ending doesn't need a splitter. Is that max distance? Yep. Okay. And then the output just goes over here. We do need a substation here. Oh, that's a beautiful fit. Nice. We can probably line this one up nice and straight as well. Still covers the uh, combinator. Next thing we need to change is this assembly machine or two for the walls. Uh, we require just slightly more than this. So I'll just swap out one of the speed modules here. So this is just barely going to be positive production of stone walls. Um, I think two fast inserters outputting is probably going to keep up with 5.5 per second. We'll soon find out. And the total stone bricks that we're going to need per second. Is 165. So we've gained production speed and productivity bonus. Fantastic. Now. Um, if two of these is, each one needs a little bit more than half a belt, which is a little bit unfortunate. 
the question is now how to lay out the stone brick belts. Um, I think we just bring them all together and merge them down, honestly. So let's get rid of that thing again. And this goes here. It's a good fit. Uh, this is going to be only half a belt anyway, so we can... I, uh, on second thought, I don't like the look of that. Okay. So our first belt is going to go here. Don't need this anymore. Uh, we will need... Oh, this is in the wrong place now as well. Um, so, why don't we just scrap all of this and start again? So this is uh, grenades and piercing round mags. And that's going to go places like this. And one more goes over here. That looks a little bit better, I think. Uh, let's just confirm that one belt can supply all of those. 16.2 and 16.2 per second. That's good. Um, construction spiders, can you move a little bit? I can't see. So this is our piercing rounds, this is our grenades. Uh, we need that to split this way. And this way. And just to keep the look of the thing, I think I'll make that mirrored. And then one more goes down here. Um, might have to change this a little bit, but I'll connect it for now so I know where it goes. And then we need some of these lying around. Cool. Um, awful lot of these bots helplessly floating. I think we're running into problems with some of the construction spiders ending up full. Yep. I'm going to have to revisit their requests. Um, so that just leaves connecting the stone brick up again. Uh, how much room for belts have we got here? One, two, three. That's not great. We can do an underground there. That's fine. So... Just going to keep this simple. 5.5 uh, .5 in, I'm pretty sure a single stack inserter with a stack size of 10 can manage. And we're going to bring our second belt. Uh, through here. Let me just think about how I'm going to do these two. That one, that one, and that one. And 
then got to jump over that. Split, split, split. And let's make these ones line up, I guess. Can I put the same thing here? Kind of. Except for this part. No, I think this will be a bit different. Uh, I kind of want more undergrounds. Also, can we move these up a tile? If I move those undergrounds there up a little bit, that's going to be a lot cleaner, I think. So, let's move... Let's move all of these up one tile. And that can just go straight across. Same goes for all the discs. All right. So we need four belts feeding into five inputs. But we've definitely got the throughput. More than that, actually. Um, should probably output priority right. Then over here, that's actually max distance. I can live with that. Right, so that goes there, goes there, goes there. And this one's going to be a bit different. Um, I don't think we need as many of these belts. By the time we get to here, we've consumed... Let's just call it four belts. Three of them consumes 82, which is nearly two belts. So... Does that mean we can get rid of these two, or...? No, I think it'd be the next one. These two have consumed more than one belt. So we can get rid of that. Um, like so. So then we can get rid of all of these. And once we've consumed more than two belts, or can we do it at... Can we do it here? That would leave 135 per second remaining. Oh, that might be premature. A hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I think that goes there, and then from there on we can comfortably remove one more each time. 
possibly. One, two, three, four. That should be okay. Let's see if I'm right. So that goes there. All right, so coming into here, we have four belts. We consume 55, that's more than one blue belt. The remainder needs 110, which is less than three belts. Uh, here we have three belts. This is less than two belts. And this is more than one belt. Oh, this is more than one belt. Um, I th think this would have to... Hmm. Yeah, I th think this would have to go here. Maybe? I think that's right. Alright, that should do it. So that should be our military science with new and improved productivity modules and higher throughput. Uh, which side does that go? That covers that one, that covers that one. Okay, now let's turn the requests back on. And pretty soon we should see it get tested. I'll send the train and the spiders back home for now. And not my spider though. I'll bump up the priorities on these uh, stations until we can see it working. Request priority. Oh, that didn't take long. We do need... Oh, this one's not going to be a problem. We do need more than one resource from each of these stations, though. Didn't finish the outputs and inputs down there? Oh, true. Belt goes here. And outputs go here. And is that it? Let's copy this part. Do all the ones in the middle. And the rest we can do with a little copy-paste. Oh, did I... I think I needed to move all of these up a bit as well. That one I already fixed. That one's already okay. And uh, I need the construction spiders to come back. Rip. Just when I sent them all away. We also need this. And a couple more tiles of fast belt. Or express belt, rather. And I think just for the sake of symmetry, let's do this. Here comes our steel, which is going to end up here for the piercing rounds. We've also got copper on the way. I haven't seen a train jammed picking this stuff up. For a good while now. That's good. Although I don't like the amount of iron that we have to have sitting in the chests to make that work. 
but overall, it, like, in the long run, it doesn't make any difference. This one is, of course, making more steel. I thought I changed the limits on the steel everywhere. I did. We're just still making some. Can't remember what short research that was, but we just finished it. Um, I wish I could see some hint. Did anyone see what it was? Copper has arrived. And I believe it only goes into the piercing round mags. 87.5 per second. Two belts is more than enough. Stone brick has arrived. Uh, and the belt's looking a little bit weird. No, I think it's working normally now. Cool. So once we get... Oh, that's more steel. We need coal, though. Uh, once we get some iron plate and coal in here, we'll see this whole thing in action. Leftmost grenade mags is off by one. Leftmost grenade slash mags. Oh, for the inputs down here... Oh, that was... that one did actually reach, but yeah, I get what you mean. Oh, also, this doesn't actually connect to anything anymore. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, I see. Okay. We could actually put that there, but it wouldn't reach. Let's just do that. And... That should do it. Tell me that's an iron train. It is not. Okay. I'm sure we've got plenty of coal available. Um, it seems like it goes for one resource before the next. Is one stack inserter enough to input 27.5 stone bricks? Uh... 27.5 per second, it definitely isn't. Yeah, because I made a change to this earlier, which had us only needing one stack inserter. But this is how I had it previously. Also, it seems like we really need... Um, oh, they've stopped because there's walls everywhere. Okay, then. But that said, I'm thinking maybe we should have a lane balancer because we're slowing the whole thing down because one side is waiting. And considering this is going to go at almost full speed later on, uh... It might actually be worth having the lane balancer up here, after all. And it's a pretty easy fix, but I'd like to see how it goes first. We still don't have any iron. Coal is on its way. There's 15k iron right here. Um, 27k, 19, I'm very tempted to lower the, uh, provide stack threshold again, but bumping it up is what fixed the loading issue.
There's only one way I know to fix it so that we can take all of the iron that's available and get the precise loading, and that's to have only one stack inserter per cargo wagon, unfortunately. Or if we had a warehouse mod with like six tile wide um, uh, containers, that would be, that would make it very easy. That should finally be our iron. Fantastic. Why is it only picking up 8.7 thousand? And why do we have iron plate in storage? It's been such a long time since I built this thing. Provide stack threshold is 40 because small trains are allowed to come here. But that's okay, I guess. I'm actually surprised that we ended up with any iron plate in storage to begin with. Priority is negative 100. Um, I don't have a system whereby stuff that gets picked up in the trash gets brought back here or anything. Oh, look at that copper pile up. Beautiful. Fantastic. So it's really just iron these days. And here comes a little bit now. It'll be enough to make... Uh, I think this is one to one, isn't it? No, it's four to one. Jeez. So... Uh, 2,175 ammunition, which translates to uh, two times that, plus 32%. So we're going to get like uh, 6,000 or so military science packs out of that. More importantly, we'll have time to see if everything's flowing properly. Or we could already be running out of iron plate because it's also going to grenades I completely forgot about. It is reaching the end of the belt already. That looks pretty good. And piercing rounds and grenades are reaching the end of these belts as well. Although, of course, for some of the more distant ones, they take a little bit longer. Um, because our rate, our, our net rate is not very high. We do gradually accumulate them, though. If the net rate is zero or slightly positive, uh, it will eventually saturate to the end of the belt. Well, if it's exactly zero, theoretically it won't, if, if this goes on forever, but it'll take time to get to the end of the belts. Seems like... Seems like the stone brick... I don't think we need a lane balancer because we're picking up so much of the stone brick that we're picking it up from both sides of the belt. It's actually struggling to reach the end. So yeah, that should be fine. Cool. And that gives us 1.4k military science so far. Fantastic. Did I add the symbol here? Military science pack. And that should be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh... All six of the basic science packs are now in the rail system. And you know what that means.
If not for how long it takes to fill this up, I'd almost be tempted to make a copy of uh, the cargo rocket silos down here so that it's a short trip. But it's already a pretty short trip, considering um, it's 32,000 for a train load of science. Um, they're not going to have to make that trip very often, and it's still quite short. So, let's get... Why is there stone in here? There's 13 stone. Must have just ended up on the belt. Okay. This is going to be red sides. Nervous orbit. Uh, red sides. Launch on cargo full. Nervous orbit green sites. Nervous orbit. Uh, what's next? Military sites. Nervous orbit. Blue sites. Nervous orbit purple sites. And Nervous Orbit Yellow Signs. Nice. Okay. Red, the far one is going to be Red Signs. That's one, that's the only tiny thing. Okay, apart from I shouldn't have used belts for the space capsules. Uh, that's the only little thing I don't like about this build. Um, is the ordering of these rockets from top to bottom and the ordering of the train stations is all backward or not even consistent um, this one is going to go to green signs this one is Military science. Let's just confirm that. Yep. Um, and then this one goes to the bottom one, which is yellow science. And this is purple, I think. And finally, uh, blue science. Let's just double check that. This is blue. This is purple. And this is yellow. Fantastic. All we need now all we need to do is set the requests. Um how much does it take to fill a rocket? Five hundred times two hundred, a hundred K. So we're gonna set each of these to a hundred K. Which is a lot to accumulate. Um, but yeah, we're going to have enough in uh, the train station to fill a rocket again immediately if necessary. That's probably super duper overkill, honestly. In fact, for science, it definitely is. And it's going to result in a lot of resources being eaten up when it's not really necessary. I think we'll just make it a little bit more tame for now. I would love to figure out a system whereby we can keep the requests low unless and until there's plenty of... I guess we could do it. 
if we had some conditions whereby there has to be like a lot of iron and copper and steel and coal, like all the basics in storage, and then we bump up the requests. Um, but I don't like how many combinators that would take. Uh, which one's this? Military science? We're already storing seven train loads of 7.2 train loads of each science here. That's 230,000 already. So. Yeah, I think we're okay. 32k. Uh, yellow science. At 90 per second because of the bottleneck and the belts. Uh, we're looking at almost six minutes to unload an entire train load of uh, uh, resources here. Although I should probably be setting it a bit higher than one train load because uh, if it's if there's just a little bit left and this is full and then the rocket launches. A little bit of that's going to start flowing, and then there's going to be a gap while we wait. Um, let's make it 40k. So that'll... Um, I don't trust LTN not to do this, but theoretically that should not summon a second train while there's one train load in here. It has to fall down to like 8,000. But in practice, when I make assumptions like that, but I'm putting it close to the storage capacity of the chests, it always seems to bring more resources than I would like it to, and end up stuck because it's full. Alright, so we're not actually going to see a launch um, for a while. Because we already sent up... Oh, there's actually only 4.5k red left. Uh, and that goes for... Blue Science as well. Yeah, we're gonna see a rocket launch to go up here sooner than sooner than I realized. As soon as one of these is empty. Also, artillery shell range is just about complete. Let's aim the map at our northern walls. Turn on turret uh, coverage. And I'm going to point the mouse right where the limit of the range is here. And here it comes. In anything from one second to like two minutes, I imagine. Fantastic. That is a not insignificant bump, although, to be honest, a little bit less than I was expecting. I took a day off at work. What are we working on today? Uh, we just finished getting all of the sciences uh, that we do on the ground uh, finished and into the rail network. And they're all fully, automatic, uh, fully automated to go to space now. Which is, as it turns out, more or less just in time, Veldak, because uh, we're down to 4.4k for three of the sciences. Nice indeed. Um, I wonder if I'll end up continuing to use this for all of the science? 
or we'll end up doing... We'll probably end up doing something in rail blocks. Now, the next thing that I had on my mind... Uh, there's two main things. Uh, big to-do items uh, in the near future. One is to jump into orbit and start using the something like 20,000 space rail that we've accumulated. And start making some lovely rail blocks. Uh, but f I think maybe first I would like to go to Angulus, where there is one planet called Morpheus. It has beryl core fragments. Um... I think if we get Beryl, it's going to be quite a while before we run into... Oh, I would like to make that science, but I don't have that um, particular resource. So, from what I understand, I think I already pointed this cargo rocket at Morpheus. Oh, that one's aimed at Rose. Is this our... Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't turn that on yet. Wait, is this the rocket, or is this the rocket? That is not the rocket. I'm pretty sure that this is the rocket we're going to use. I did decide to take some solar... Okay. Uh, to go to Rose takes less than 90k fuel. Morpheus, on the other hand... So we can go to Morpheus with just a cargo rocket, even though it's interstellar. 443,000 liquid rocket fuel. Good thing we will be able uh, to make fuel on Morpheus. Frigid, ocean, humid, treeless, eccentric mountains. Okay. It's got water, it's got crude oil, we can manage. There's not a whole lot of biters, the planet is relatively big. Solar's really not very good, but we can't send iron and uranium via cannon. The challenge with Morpheus is... We have to use cargo rockets for everything, and we haven't done that before. That's big SPM. Let's keep that also with space sciences. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll get there eventually. Possibly when the UPS is down to 10 at this rate. Um, we could do... I think I've been told this only goes up to like 10 or 20 or something, right? Even though it says it's infinite here. Um, I think some cargo safety would in fact be... How many times can I queue this up? 14, jeez. And that would take 16,000 astronomic science pack. We're not anywhere near that scale yet. Um, but... I think a little bit more cargo rocket safety and reusability is not a bad idea. Although, to be honest, in a weird way, reusability is kind of a pain. Like, getting back cargo rocket sections randomly actually sort of creates more of a logistical nightmare, but once you're getting some of them, I guess getting more of them back isn't a bad thing. That's a weird little field of uranium. Uh, since I left the construction spiders over there, let's get them to finish building that rail block. And I'm actually... Uh, drawing a blank on anything we should be building in the rail system at this stage. No path? Don't... How long has this been? Oh, no. 
How long has this been like this? Uh, okay, regular signal on this side. Chain signal. I have to wait for that signal to be placed, apparently. Unless I could copy it from here somewhere, but I don't have a regular signal on a diagonal anywhere. Come on. Oh no, I forgot to switch off inserter. Now I have a rocket full of packed rocket sections. <laughs> nice. Mighty big of you to take a day off to watch Tyrannosaurus X. <laughs> Cheers. Alright, so this goes here. And we're going to need some more signals over this way, I think. Oh, also... You're... Oh. I don't suppose... No, I would have done that already if that was possible. Um, okay, how about... This has to be a chain signal. We add a chain signal here. And... We need a chain signal here that we can't fit. This is terrible. Um... I think what we're going to have to do here is get rid of this. And then have this rail go over this way. And just hop back onto the roundabout. And we should definitely move those signals over there if we're going to do that. So that a, a train here isn't going to block this roundabout. Fantastic. Well, that looks very deliberately planned and not at all a reaction to something weird that happened. A shack cut. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sweet. I was joking, of course. I don't have a need to take continuous vacation for a whole week or two. Like most people here do. I just take a day off here and then. Whatever works for you, I guess. Okay. Of course, it's nice if you have that option. Um, is this connected? Yeah, we're good. Well, that will probably help with the iron flow. Maybe. It's only 15 per second, though. There's no beacons here. Uh, we can always... change that at least somewhat quite easily. And that one's going to be a problem. Can't do four of those at a time. Oh, we can do these four. So let's move that one, actually. That's already getting touched by two. And here. That'll help. Alright, not exactly optimal, but... That puts us way past one belt anyway. 
pretty sure the minimum consumption, even for the big miners, is zero. So it's having extra potential power consumption. It's only going to add like the constant consumption of the beacons to all of that. I don't feel like bothering to make it so that we'll get... Actually, considering all of the issues that we're having with iron, that's a lie. I do feel like making sure that we get more than one belt. Can I not? Oh. And this one didn't even have an output, it looks like. Um, okay, so this goes here. And splitter. Stop this for a second. Give this the setting. Oh, wait, that's wrong. This is fine. Uh, maybe over here, though. Mr. Nafka, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. What is the objective today? Um, apart from increase our iron production, uh, I did just get... Oh, let's add a radar over here. It would be nice if it could squeeze in here and also get power. Uh, let's bring the construction spiders down this way. Uh, I finally got all of the basic sciences, the ones that we can do on the ground with productivity modules, uh, complete and in the rail system. What's going on here? Oh, that's what I was talking about earlier. So we are requesting two train loads of heat shielding, which eight chests should absolutely be able to contain. 2.4k times eight is 19,200. So the request stack threshold is four cargo wagons, which is 8,000. The amount we want is 16,000. So this should never go above 16,000, and yet uh, here we are with a train limit of one, and we're trying to dump an extra half a train. Pretty much an extra full train was sent here. So I think we'll bump that back down to like 9,000 at the most. We'll send that back to the depot. It'll get recycled back into everything. Nice stone. New stone belt isn't finished. New stone belt. Uh, where was this? This one? Or was it a different build? What build were we just looking at? Oh. The iron belt? Oh yeah, true. Uh, let's send our spiders back up here. And there we go. Iron ore, yes indeed. Okay. So we've got significantly more iron ore. Well, this was actually stuck, so we just went from 0 to theoretically 96 iron per second, but with the shape of these belts, that's not what's going to happen. Um, I don't think. Unless... If this belt is 45... 59, and then this belt is 37. It's going to be more like 70 to 80 iron per second, but that's okay. Uh, 
That's a lot more than zero anyway. Radar installed. It was not. This is a higher priority though. Uh, let's figure out where we would like a radar here. I don't want to put it all the way to the left like this, but uh, this is okay, I guess. Fantastic. And good call. Here comes our coal which seems to be the last thing we need right now to make more military signs. This actually uses four full blue belts of coal, uh, even with some efficiency thrown in. Fantastic. I wonder how we're doing... Oh, I didn't mark these either. Let's do that now. This goes here and here. Kind of hard to line them up perfectly. Beautiful. And what do we have? Zero yellow signs? Oh, there's some pathing issues. No path to where exactly? No path to yellow signs. Probably because there's no uh, regular signal right here. And I think we're going to have the same issue with uh, purple signs, was it? Or blue signs? No path. Wait, why do they have the same... You're going to... Oh, they're both going to temporary stop, is that why? Oh, this station. They have the same name, that's why. So you're going for yellow signs, and you're going for blue signs. And I clicked the wrong thing. We need a regular signal right here. Luckily the construction spiders are nearby. That should do it. Fantastic. Oh, that one's already been placed somehow. Uh, it was yellow signs for the other one. There it is. And then red, green, military. We probably just don't have enough yet. Yellow is on the way. Blue is on the way. And purple. Uh, why don't we have purple yet? because there's only 8.1k purple. We made it relatively recently, and it is pretty thirsty, and that train was blocking that station. Why is this not... Oops. We're missing heat shielding. What? Oh, you've got a full output. Okay, fair enough. That would be a pretty good reason. Completely saturated belt for productivity ones and furnaces, so we're just waiting on rail. Which is stuck, actually. How is it stuck? Rail goes here. Oh! Well, that would probably help. Once again, we've got our construction spiders nice and close by. 
So the reason that one belt missing is jamming the whole thing is I don't have a balancer splitter for all of these and we're doing a balanced unload. And this rail in particular goes to this, uh, this row of assembly machines in particular. So now that that's moving out of the way, we're dumping all of the rest of the rail. And it's not going to make that big of a difference, like, in the long run, because if we don't have enough rail that it was also in uh, these chests, then we're still resource bottlenecked. But, yeah, that'll do it. So purple science is going to be a bit slower, obviously. 47 per second is not bad, though. Once it gets going, which it needs more rail over here for that to happen, though. We can get half of that. Um, 23.7 per second. Do you have a satellite telemetry from... Satellite rockets build? That'd be a good use for the seventh cargo silo in the science block. Um, the only satellite telemetry rocket that we've got... Oh, do you mean to send the satellite telemetry into orbit? I have set that up already. This is still the only regular satellite rocket silo that we've got. Um, but satellite telemetry is... I don't think it's actually in the rail block yet. So yeah, you're right. That would be a great spot for it. Let's set that up now. Um, Nalvis Orbit. Satellite telemetry should be way up here because it was older. There it is. Launch on cargo full. And... Whoops. Uh, there we go. Telemetry. And this is... Telemetry requester. Oh, wait. No, that should be fine. The small trains are allowed to take from logistic networks, but the long trains don't. So this isn't going to cause any problems. Uh, what does it stack to? Like 10? I think. Let's check. Our satellite telemetry rocket is here. It actually stacks to 50. Therefore... Uh, we're going to request... Eight K. Make it like double that. And let's add our tag right here. Perfect. Now it almost looks like I planned it all along. Oops, modded. I was looking to do that soon as the recipe is simple enough. Uh, the recipe, if you want to call it that, is... Yeah, that's all in the rail block. I thought that was a cargo rocket section for a second there. Um, I should definitely design some mini rail blocks. Or some way to neatly fit, like, four different things in one of these blocks. Because there's a lot of builds that are just going to be really small. Alright, let's bring the construction spiders down here. Um, I noticed this was missing... Hold on. 
Yeah, I noticed this was missing from uh, the cargo, not cargo, the depots. Um, there's nothing to fuel this train here. When I was messing about uh, with the, what is it called? Uh, the editor extensions save that I've got. Where's our spiders? Here they come. And we need to make sure that's connected. That one's fine. This one's going to need an extra wire. Like so. And like so. And I think it's actually missing from the blueprint. Um, but yeah, let's uh, make sure all of our depots have this. So the trains on the sides are getting refueled. Looks like that one is already set up. Oh, did I do this upside down? Wait. Oh, I accidentally copied this previously. That's why. Okay. So this goes here. And this goes here. That one's been fixed as well. This goes here. Yeah, that one has also already been fixed. That's the small train one. Okay, so I think that's all of our cargo wagon depots uh, fixed. I don't think we need to go and place any more combinators. I think it was just the most recent one that I hadn't fixed like that. Is this train stuck? It doesn't look like it. Just a bit of traffic. Quite a lot of traffic, actually. This rail block system has been doing quite well traffic-wise, but of course it has its limits. Still not seeing any trains getting stuck with the precise loaders here anymore. Fantastic. Now, uh, back to planning our visit to another solar system. We got solar, we got more, kind of, more, more core mining drills than we're going to be able to support, honestly. Enough cargo rocket sections to come back. A little bit of rocket fuel. It's going to be nothing for refueling. We're going to have to do that there. Plenty of media defenses. Um, signal transmitters and receivers. Plenty of roboports and bots. Cargo rocket silo. Cargo landing pad. We're going to need multiple cargo landing pads. Um... So how many things do we need? If we're going to do a separate cargo landing pad for each, which is frankly by far the easiest way to do it. Um, we're going to need... Cargo rocket sections. The fuel we can get on the planet. Uh, we need space capsules, but... I don't know if just the space capsules that we have spare uh, from sending rockets there is going to be enough to bring stuff back, or if we have to 
send space capsules specifically. I really don't want to dedicate a cargo rocket to space capsules, which leads me back to the plan of trying to do everything with one cargo landing pad. Uh, we need to have some storage for everything off to the side. And it's going to be very tricky. Okay, if we don't worry about filling the cargo rocket that we send there every time, then it's not too difficult uh, to set up a system where we dynamically, automatically decide what we're sending to Morpheus. But if we try to fill the cargo rocket to make sure we get maximum value out of it, that's going to be a lot harder. Um, but I suppose... Okay, there's... We could send nuclear fuel if we're going to do this. That would make it a lot easier setting everything up. Provided we can get enough uranium into... Uh, into the old main bus, which shouldn't be a problem. Probably. Uh, so, we want... I guess this particular cargo rocket silo is not really being used. Um... So I'll maybe use this one for it, at least in the short term. So we don't need this anymore, I'm very happy to say. In fact, we can completely discard all of our science production in the old main bus base. That is going to free up a lot of space, I think. Don't need all these grenades. Uh, we don't need to produce ammo here, although, uh, having it, I don't even use regular ammo anymore, and the, the, uh, the robot mall over here can supply ammo. Have I set it up to do that? I'm actually surprised I haven't. Oh yes, I have. Yeah, in fact, we've got two machines here to make uh, uranium ammo. So it's it's only bottlenecked on bringing uranium-238 here. But yeah, the short trains can pick up ammo from here that goes to the walls. So we don't need any ammo production in the old main bus base anymore. Um, don't need these belts or inserters here. Don't need these walls here. Although putting a few of them into uh, the robot network isn't the worst idea. I need to figure out a system that's going to recycle the science that we have uh, in the robo, robo? Uh, robot network here into the rail system and into orbit. It does feel very nice, very cleansing, getting rid of all this old stuff. No more need to do purple science here, which means the prerequisites can go away as well. Which means none of this heat shielding. My goodness, this took up a lot of space. Don't need this sulfur here. Don't need this. Don't need that. 
definitely don't need that. We are a huge step closer to either disassembling the old main bus base or just making it a lot neater and tidier and sort of more useful. With the space that we're gaining, we can... Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of that. I'll just automate it all over again when I need to. It really doesn't take any effort, especially with bots. So much stuff. I mean... That is mostly the point of the main bus base, is to churn out science uh, up to a decent scale. Alright, that's enough of that for now. Um, so we're going to need to automatically... Maybe I should have kept that. No, we're good. We can always make another one of these rocket templates as well. Uh, Nervous Orbit Science. It's already connected up to a signal receiver. That's very helpful. Morpheus. Uh, I'll call it Morpheus Cargo. Let's call it Morpheus Pad. So we're going to send to Morpheus Pad uh, what we need sent. So I guess um, I might as well just... We don't really need these constant combinators. I'll leave them there for now, though. Um, I guess I'll just go to Morpheus and then start designing this on the other end, honestly. Uh, I do need to make some military spiders. And some construction spiders. I definitely found it a lot more useful having a bunch of construction spiders uh, that I could use on the planet, as opposed to, why is this? No battery. And no heat shielding. And then I guess you need room in your invent. You know what? Don't even carry repair packs, at least for this nanosecond. There you go. Actually, 7.8k, yeah. We're actually completely filling this with nothing but bots and landfill. A hey, Morbell. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, let's grab our construction spiders. Uh, whoops. Copy. I can't copy paste like that. Copy paste and grab them before the bots get their robotic claws onto them. Because I can't pick up a construction spider that's full of stuff. All right. Once more. I'm thinking four construction spiders is probably more than enough for an outpost. I need four personal robopollets. Which one didn't get anything? There we go. Two, three, oh, this one either. Probably help if I turn on my logistic requests. All 
I wish it would show how many are on the way if you pointed a um, filtered slot like that. Oh, and we're going to need to do a little bit more than this. Um, I think this red wire or green wire, probably safest to do it on the red wire. Yeah, that'll be by far the easiest. That is a stretch, literally. Uh, so we're going to set this to launch on green signal, I think. Launch on green signal when fuel full. And this needs to be pointed at Morpheus. It's going to be Morpheus landing pad. I'll put it back on manual, actually, until we're ready. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it would be a problem. No, it's fine. So the green wire is going to have what Morpheus is requesting. And when we're ready on the red wire, we'll send the green signal. Um, Actually... We need a bit more logic than that, don't we? We need to know that the rocket's got stuff in it, that it's fully loaded. Um, I did add... I did add a green signal. I think this one has it. Yeah, decide a combinator if everything equals zero on the final request a chest, then send a green signal. That's, uh, that's actually probably all we need to do. And do we even need a green signal to come from Morpheus? We can do the logic on Morpheus's end of um hold on. This is currently sending a green signal even though we're totally empty. Uh if we send a negative green signal to the cargo rocket silo. Does that mean... If the rocket is ready to launch and there's nothing in it, and we send it a green signal and it's set to launch on green signal when fuel full, doesn't that mean we'll launch an empty rocket? But we don't necessarily want to wait for the cargo to be full. Maybe we should send the green signal from here, but we need this condition to be met and some arbitrary set of like, don't send too few things in a rocket. So I guess we'll just put a decider here, connect like so, if the bots ever show up. Am I standing around? Let's make a few more spiders. We've got, I'll go for five construction spiders. There we go. No, you don't. And... Uh, ten laser spiders should be more than... How many did I put on this planet? 
quite a lot. And wait. I'm pretty sure we are seeing the biters get cleared out by the automated cannons on Nalvis. Well, we've got a million spiders, so why don't I bring them with me? There's a few things extra that I'm carrying that I could discard. I don't really want to change my requests too much, though. Why am I carrying artillery? Zero to infinity. Okay. Do I still have 20 slots here? One, two, three. Just barely. All right. one too many. Okay, let's copy the settings for military spiders. Except I don't want them being given ammo. Since we can't consistently uh, produce ammo where we're going. That's the wrong one. Give it back, give it back, give it back. Okay. Surprised how many of these I can make in one go. Now we need portable RTGs. Ten on the way. We need one, two per spider actually. That's kind of a lot. Uh, did we get that dropped? There we go. So I think what we'll do here is we need a green signal both from this and from the other planet. So if green signal equals two, output green signal on the red wire. So we have to have finished loading and we have to get the okay from Morpheus. That should be sufficient. Also, why are we We're having a lot of trouble with liquid rocket fuel right now. Um, where are you going? I think it's bringing it to me, maybe? Let's get a delivery of liquid rocket fuel from the rail network. I should set up a system so that we could, uh, just like we did in orbit, uh, with the automatic making of a bunch of different, uh, a specific count of like different machines that are made in the space manufactory. We pulse that into a counter and then we subtract by one when we're finished. Um, how do we end up with all of these extras? That's a bit concerning. That's a lot of extra stuff. How did that happen? Oh, that's, that's not a chest. That's a constant combinator. Okay, good. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe I should set up a rail requester thing whereby we can pulse in, I want one trainload of rocket fuel, 
brought back to the main bus base, please. And then once we receive that, uh, that request is gone. Should be pretty easy to do. I'll do it after Morpheus, though. Um, are we going to get rocket fuel brought here? One-shot orders, yes. So, uh, by using a pulse generator, uh, that's this thing. Uh, this, if you're using positive numbers, this one has a value of each greater than zero output each. And this one is just multiplied by negative one. One tick after they both receive the input, this thing will output that value. And then this thing will start to output negative one of that value. So on the second tick, this thing is receiving zero and therefore it'll only output this for one tick. Combine that with a uh, memory cell, a counting machine, and you can use uh, read hand contents pulse, or you can do something similar with a belt to subtract uh, from the request. Actually, that might not work so well because... Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll want to you'll want to subtract when you take it out of the train, as opposed to take it from this chest. Yeah, that's actually relatively easy, at least for where I am now with circuits. Okay, we need uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 more portable RTGs. Uh, let's see, we have 44, wow. Cheers, no worries. Uh, would you like to see me build it before we go to uh, Morpheus, actually? Let me just get the spiders done first. And we need four more. I think I'll set... Well, no, setting the request threshold to, like, 1 won't necessarily help that much um, because of the way I've got some of the stations set up. Another episode of Circuit Witchery with Hacks. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, have I got the portable RTGs? Yes. Alright, that's all of our spooters. I'll pick up the ones that are fully shielded first. I don't know if it holds onto those values when you place them again. I do wish there was a... F oh, there's another one here. There you go. I do wish there was a faster way to do this. That is a decent number of spooters. Whoops. And here comes some more uh, satellite telemetry. One more. Whoops. Oh, and there's one on the ground. Rip. What should I take out of my inventory? I'm like 
78% sure we're not going to need any delivery cannons where we're going. Unless we're going to use delivery cannons to transport things across the same planet, then there's no point having them on Morpheus. They don't go interstellar. Can you use personal bots and filtered delete print to pick them up? To pick up walking spidertrons? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, so. Speedrun building a new circuit challenge. Let's see how we go. We've got our pulse generator. We need a memory cell. I'm probably just going to make this one unconditional, but it's better to use a decider combinator. Y you can use a arithmetic combinator, um, but this just gives you more options. So we're going to output everything input count, and we're going to connect its input to its output. So signals are going to go around in circles. Uh, condition is... I don't know, anything greater than zero, that's effectively, uh, effectively uh, no condition. Actually, it's false when there are no inputs. Yeah, that's fine. Um, don't think we need this, do we? Oh, I see. And we're going to need to have a constant combinator with which we are going to pulse in. This should actually be a negative. Because LTN recognizes negatives as a request. So we're going to do each less than zero instead of greater than zero for the pulse generator. And same for this thing. Um... And then we're going to connect the output of that to the logistic train stop input. These are static. That's That can just stay there. Um, we're going to have whatever it is we're going to request here. Fuel. Uh, one train load. And I haven't turned it on yet. And then all we do is, oh, not quite. So these are all going to be read hand contents pulse, which just reads it for only one tick. Uh, we're not going to have an enable disable condition. So these are unconditional, but they read everything that comes across them with a pulse. And then we multiply that by negative. Actually, since this is going to be a negative and this is positive, uh, we actually don't need to multiply this by negative one this time. And we don't particularly need that combinator there anymore. That's just confusing. That should be it. So what I'm going to do now is pulse in our request for 1600 solid rocket fuel. That's on the memory cell. That's getting sent to uh, LTN. And we should get a train scheduled to come and give us that within a few seconds or so. I think it's important in this instance. I just realized, uh, oh, is that connected to the wrong thing? No, we're good. Yeah, we don't actually have to tell LTN what we've got at this station with this setup. Or maybe we should make sure it doesn't activate unless this is empty. But since this is all going to a active provider chest, we can effectively assume it's empty. But uh, 
Yeah, we don't need to tell LTN what we've got because we're just going to get rid of the request once the train arrives. Here comes our train, picking up 1.6k solid rocket fuel. And once it gets here, inserters are going to read hand contents pulse. It's a positive count versus a negative um, that we're holding on to in the memory cell. And once it finishes unloading, oh, I think I, I don't know if I finished saying, uh, limit trains to one for this one, because you don't want it scheduling another train to bring more solid rocket fuel before the count is reduced when the train actually gets here. Um, but yeah, should be here in a minute or two, depending on traffic. Traffic really is getting to be a bit of an issue. That's one of the reasons I really don't want to... When it comes to the big trains, I don't want to bother with a delivery unless it's a full train. Good to see iron getting loaded all over the place. Uh, in fact, it's happening so much that I wonder if we're starting to... I... Nowhere near having iron plate in storage just yet. In fact, this station is empty. Okay, if you can find even one empty station, you know you're not keeping up yet. Uh, but yeah. That traffic, though. This train isn't sticking its nose in here. Oh, here we go. Um, it's getting to the point where I'm tempted in future to build a very similar rail block, but with more, uh, more lanes, perhaps. Here it comes, and if we look at our memory cell, once the inserters grab, uh, it reduces the count, and we're done. Fantastic. And just for convenience sake, if we want to, we could add a bunch of uh, constant combinators here for things we commonly request. Just leave them all switched off. And let's see. Low density structure. One train load. Rocket fuel. Uh, what else do we sometimes request here? I don't know. Yeah, not bad. Um, I, sh I feel like I should have thought of this before because I kept using the station as a in exactly this manner. It's also... You could also use this to have a single train stop automatically act as uh, the drop-off for any number of resources, as long as the overall throughput isn't that high. Uh, if you can make an automated system that pulses in these requests, then one station is all you need. Or you could probably set it up to use multiple stations for that very purpose. All right, so we've got our spiders. Um, we've probably got the rocket loaded by now, I think. Yes, we're aimed at Morpheus. We need fuel. That's why we were requesting all that rocket fuel. Uh, this is already going as fast as it can. Even with multiple cargo rocket launches from here, I feel like having more than one of these is a bit overkill. We do have ludicrous storage uh, for the liquid rocket fuel. But I think I will request three more train loads of solid rocket fuel. 
so we'll get those, uh, we'll get that storage going a bit. I really need to, um, okay, two things. I should set it up so that, uh, the trash trains, uh, bring items to somewhere other than the main bus base because the storage is just running away, uh, and or I should set it up so that things that we've got excessive amounts of in the main bus base, we can offer those to the rail network. Hmm. Maybe a general storage system in the... It'd have to use bots, like a general storage thing in the uh, rail network. We could probably just use the mall that we've already got. There's still tons of room to add uh, storage chests. Where would we add a little bit of rail for the trash trains to come and drop stuff off, though? And what is this station? This is a requester of uranium fuel cells. Why is that? It's probably just needed for something. Okay. Anyway. That's, uh... Maybe a problem for another time. The artillery shells in particular take up a lot of space. It is going to take a while to fuel this rocket, though. In hindsight, I think... Um, maybe instead of doing this multiple times, uh, for all of these, uh, cargo rocket silos, we should have had a fluid drop-off for liquid rocket fuel, and, I mean, the natural place to produce that would be in the oil block, but we kind of already used up all of that space, so I guess it makes sense. A Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've heard using artillery carriages for storing shells is the way to go. Yeah, they can store up to 100 as opposed to a regular cargo wagon only storing 40. Or a chest storing 40, uh, 48. So we're really just waiting on... I've got 50 of each type of combinator, that should be enough. If that's not enough to make the circuit that I need, then... <laughs> then I, I would think I'm probably doing something wrong. This thing is... 5, 7, and 11. It's really not that much. Um, oh, what about research? Kind of forgot about this for a while. And we do have, I think, every type of science completely backed up here. One, two, three, four special sciences. Yeah. In fact... Okay, it's not backed up all the way to here, but still, that's quite a decent amount. Uh-oh. Junk data cards. We are completely full. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh, okay, there's a lot of room on the belt on the right, although not as much as I expected. Why is this whole thing not moving? Let's see. This is trying to unload scrap. Junk data cards go here and become either blank data cards or broken data cards. Blank data cards are completely backed up all the way up to the scrap. Wow. Um, okay. We need a better storage and prioritization system for the blank data cards, I think. I'll worry about that in a bit. There's nothing really pressing that I want to research right now. Although we could probably do cargo safety or something. Oh, um, efficiency modules, sure. Actually, I wonder if this will help. I, I don't think that's going to be all it takes to, uh, to get the base, like, working again. But it definitely wouldn't hurt. We're still only a third full with the liquid rocket fuel. Wow. And we do have this going as fast as we can, at least with productivities. Mm -hmm. Alright, since we're waiting anyway, um, let's get our space spiders up here. And... I think I should probably add some storage. Quite a lot of storage for the blank data cards. There is nothing on this belt but blank data cards, right? Yeah. And then... Oops. Why don't we say... This storage right here has to be empty. If we're gonna draw from the manufactured directly blank data cards. And then... Like so. Where are we going to get power from? That's a decent bit of reach. Okay. So that's a strict prioritization of the blank data cards that come from recycling. Um, but it's obviously got more of a long view than if it was just looking at the belt. Cool. Liquid rocket fuel slowly ticking along. We can research that. Why not? I do wish there was a way to... There's probably a mod that does this. Uh, just show me the researches that we can do right now. In fact, I'm sure there is. I, I think I remember using that mod. Astrobionic simulation. Why not? And all that's left is the infinite researches after that. Cool.
I'm really getting tempted to make uh, liquid rocket fuel in the rail system at this point. But if we just didn't run out of solid rocket fuel here... Why did we run out of solid rocket fuel here? There's so much light oil. Does that mean... Oh. Oh no, we're not, we're not doing that anymore. Stop, 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 stop. Where does that belt even go? Oh, it's steam engines. Okay, I... Well, no, I still don't want to... No, it doesn't go into the steam engines. That's just for the... That's for the fluid wagons. We should be using something else for that by now. Um, we could use solid rocket fuel. We've got plenty in the logistic network. It's just uh, bottlenecked on this thing. So why don't we put a uh, request over here. I found that if I use the actual research tree on the right, I can see much better what I can research with the sciences. Uh, depends on... There's only so much you can see with it, especially with space exploration. Also, hey Mess, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is still connected. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of the old sciences. Nice. Um, I guess if you're... I actually said before you could sort of automate pulsing this stuff in to request things, but then why would you bother not just having a negative number here and reading the positive from what you've got? available. Yeah, that's just extra work, basically. I'll leave those there. Oh, this is... Oh, we don't need this anymore. Okay. Let's maybe just get rid of this station altogether. Fantastic. We do have uranium ammo production here. Good. And what about this? That was green science. Don't need that anymore. Uh, I do want that still. Oh, so let's keep this bit. Where do I have to go to connect these? No way. Why do we have a million iron sticks? I think I know why. Look at all this space that's opening up. Um, there's really no reason we should still be making glass locally. 
using fewer productivity modules as well. Let's get rid of that, and we'll find a way to fit a station to bring glass here. Or we could just request it from the logistic network, uh, from LTN, like so. As long as we don't mind a bot cloud every time the train arrives. Uh, you need some power. And don't forget this part. Still getting refueled unbearably slowly. Um, why don't we just do this? Liquid rocket fuel times two. Quest rocket fuel, rods, and beacon. Should have thought of that before. Although it will overfill this eventually. I should have put it up here or something. But if we have the pipe nice and close to this one, it'll take that liquid fuel as before anything else. And how about one more while we're at it? That'll do. Take the rocket fuel. Still gonna take a minute to load this thing up with 443,000 liquid rocket fuel. What should I do in the meantime? I suppose I could jump into orbit and start designing space rail. Although, now that I think of it, it should be possible to do that remotely. How much scaffolding do I have the space spiders carry? Some space scaffolding. All right, let's, uh, there's actually a big block right there that we're already not using. Uh, that's probably still not even close to big enough for a rail block. Well, we can make a start at least. Let's bring them over here, and I'm going to use one weird trick. Logistic bots hate them. Also, why is this spider not following the leader? Let's fix that now. Okay. More scaffold, more, indeed. I found, uh, I gotta say, going to another star for barrel is a very ambitious plan with the tech level that you have. I don't see any other way that I can get it unless I just wait and hope that I can tech up to... Astronomic Science Pack 3 is what's required for spaceships. Um... Considering I'm pretty sure we need barrel even for tier 2 astronomic science packs. I, I don't think I have any other choice. 
Alright, so we're going to use construction bots to pick this stuff up. There we go. Now they're carrying a bit too much. Let's get them to go play with the scaffolding over this way. You should have a planet with beryl, that's guaranteed. Uh, here's my universe explorer. Oh, you mean, like, not the primary resource? I mean, I'm sure there is some lying around, but it's a bit of a pain. I, I don't want to have to make mines over and over and over again all the time. It's okay to make a mine for a boost of throughput, um, but I definitely prefer... What? Oh, I see. Um, I definitely prefer getting the infinite throughput so that I don't have to worry about it. Like, I don't have to remember to go and find more iron mines, for example. I can go grab this and it'll speed things up, but because we've got core mining, um, if I run the game for long enough, iron will sort itself out. Um, so yeah, considering we can use cargo rocket... Uh, section, uh, cargo rockets to get the barrel. That's what I'm going to do. Now, we're going to need to place... Well, we're probably not going to need strictly to place that much. Um, scaffolding? Oh, you can see where it needs to go. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Okay. Let's start with that. And get the bots to start doing their thing with the scaffolding. Actually, let's let these ones catch up. A hundred million ones, that's enough to win the game. Asteroid belts. I haven't... I would still have to use cargo rockets at this stage of the game to exploit asteroid belts, right? So if I'm doing that, I may as well go to Morpheus to get the barrel. Um, the only difference is it requires more fuel. Look at all those Christmas tree lights just lying around the place. Uh, and they don't have any chain signals on them. Okay. Uh, let's go space rail. Goes here. And here. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to get the space rail exactly where the regular rail is supposed to be. Can we do it like this? And like this? Is that spot on? I think it is. And then we need a roundabout that goes through all of these. This feels weird. Uh-oh. That's too far. There we go. Um, oh, they haven't placed that up there yet. Okay. I think if that's correct, we should be able to just place that like so. 
Let's bring the scaffolding out a bit further. Can't you use the upgrade planner for the blueprint? Unfortunately, no. I'm pretty sure I checked this before. Rail. You can't even find rail here. Um, we go to the blueprint. Well, we ha we would have to create the upgrade planner first, wouldn't we? Unfortunate. All right, and I want to have this line up exactly with the blueprint. That looks good. So the rest of this rail can go. Um, but we do want to get the big power pole. Shame, indeed. Uh, welcome... Uh, XCon? Do signals actually need scaffolding to be actually placed? At least you can ghost place without them. Unfortunately, rails don't upgrade to space rails. Yep. Had to manually rebuild all my, all my blueprints manually last night. Lovely. Signals don't need scaffolding in play in space, really. Well, that would explain um, the fact that we've got them floating out here. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's not a ghost. That's real, isn't it? Are you telling me the only thing that needs uh, scaffolding here is, uh, is, is the power poles? Interesting. Very interesting. That's going to make it a hell of a lot less of a nuisance to build these out. Although, I guess if there's nothing but rails sticking out, um, the spiders are not going to be able to walk out that way, right? Oh, they've run out of scaffolding already. Okay, let's, uh, let's remove some of the scaffolding then, shall we? Deconstruction planner. Scaffold. What is it called? Um, I could have sworn it was called scaff- oh, there it is. Space Platform Scaffold. Okay. Uh, scaffold. I think we need to... This isn't it, is it? I don't think item on ground works that way. Wasn't there a way to use a deconstruction planner to just remove, like, uh, not landfill, but like concrete, for example? Entity ghost. Tile ghost. Is is it tile ghost? I don't think it's tile ghost, is it? No. Those spiders could just walk on one tile scaffolding. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Um, to make it simple, we could just do two tiles of scaffolding going everywhere. Um, that lines up with the big poles. 
Okay. So I guess we'll just have to... That doesn't look like it connects properly. Can I copy, rotate that? Cool. Removing all the scaffolding. Except for that. And then this goes here. All right, how are we doing for fuel? Almost fueled, fantastic. Just uh, about 80,000 to go. Let's get our spooters to go over this way and confirm that they can't just walk along the rails. Yep. So I think what we'll do is two tiles like this. Until we find uh, where the big poles go. Be all of this. Make sure it lines up with everything. Not build on empty space. And I think once we get a quarter of this done properly, we can deconstruction plan all of that. Um. Then we can get rid of the excess scaffolding, which is going to make it a lot easier to place the scaffolding that we need. Oh, they need to deconstruct this. I'll definitely be making sure I save a blueprint of this as soon as possible. And at times I've thought maybe the rail block uh, that I made for this playthrough is a bit big, but I'm thinking for the orbital stuff, I'm going to have no regrets as far as that's concerned. How do you manage several spidertrons with one remote? If you set spiders to, uh, if you have a spidertron uh, and you control click on something, uh, it will follow it. They don't, uh, they don't move with the same. They're not as responsive as if you could select them all at once and tell them to move, but uh, other than that, it's quite uh, effective. Okay, thanks. No worries. You're welcome. Also, train stops do. Signals do not need scaffoldings. But yeah, I would be surprised if train stops didn't need scaffolding. Uh, pink pajamas. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, same to Shepesua. Not sure how to pronounce that, but welcome, welcome anyway. Somehow we've... I don't know if this is just going slow or if we've stopped here. Yeah, I think we're a bit lower on solid rocket fuel now. We've actually gone through a lot of solid rocket fuel. Uh, fueling this thing up. 
That'll bring four more train loads of solid rocket fuel here. Pando Pro Channel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello there to you too. Okay, so... Uh, Spooters, come pick up the scaffolding, please. And this scaffolding... Wait, what? No. I tried to shift-click to give them an order, and they just deleted the, uh... the wiring for that big electric pole. In fact, just to be sure, I'm gonna delete that. Put this here again because huh oh that's fine uh because i suspect it would like not automatically connect to other things okay scaffolding all the way up here and Should be able to just copy that like so. Oh, it actually... It actually pastes the big electric pole onto where there's just a ghost for scaffolding? Or am I wrong? I think I was wrong. Okay. So that is looking... Perfect, I think. Let's remove everything here so that we can easily remove all of the scaffolding. Uh, once we get the spiders in range. We'll get rid of all of this for now. Rip the lone spider? Wait, what happened to the lone spider? Guarding their six. Uh, I think we're okay. Right. That goes... Let's get rid of all this. That can stay. Get rid of all this, please. Oh, they can't get rid of the scaffolding that they're standing on. I thought they would just hop over to other bits of scaffolding, but I suppose it would be possible to put them on an island where that wouldn't work. Why is this bit missing? Right then. Where are they going? What? Did we just... Huh? What? Why did a bunch of our construction bots just abandon... Constructions, but why do we have just one spider? Did did we just? I don't know if it account under kills. Did we just lose a bunch of spiders this way? What? What? They're not lying on the ground or anything, right? I don't... What? I think that deserves a save, scum. I really do. What the hell? How many spiders are left? There's only one. 
all of those construction spiders just flew uh, construction uh, construction bots just flew over to the nearest robo network because their spiders had just disappeared <laughs> when was the last auto save it doesn't look that bad or does it Okay. Cautionary tale. Do not deconstruct. Yeah, that's not too bad. Do not deconstruct scaffolding underneath your spiders. That is ungood. All right, let's continue fixing this up and this can go here, this goes here, oops. That goes there. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Not... Not when they're under your feet, please. What mod is he using? Uh, space Exploration. Spidertrons hate that trick, indeed. Are there Spidertrons with jetpack upgrade? Um, afraid not, from what I can see. I'm learning a lot from this stream, planning to do a playthrough with this mod suite. Nice. Didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, that makes two of us. Okay. Uh, Nia Traps, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let me just safely deconstruct more of this scaffolding. They're probably going to get their inventory a bit full soon. No, they're not too bad. Right. I just want to get the scaffolding in place first, and then it should be a simple operation to copy, rotate, paste this stuff, and then that'll be our blueprint. Let's check on our fuel situation. 30k to go. And I probably need to make this request again. That is 12k solid rocket fuel that's going to be delivered by the rail network. Ask the mod author to add an effect when it happens of Spidertrons floating away in space. Why didn't we just give them some... Uh, what are those little, little tiny jets called? Uh, RCS. React reaction control system, something like that. You know, the little tiny thrusters that uh, that just use gas or something. All right. Scaffolding goes here, I believe. Let's get them to do that much. I don't think they're going to fall off while they're placing scaffolding, right? Another spider got left behind. Poor Spooder. Hmm. 
This goes here. Astronaut propulsion unit? Yeah. Okay. Back to our rocket. I really want to get to Morpheus. Taking its sweet time, though. Uh, we haven't got yet that... S got yet? We haven't yet got that solid rocket fuel in the logistic network. Here it comes. And there goes our request dropping down by a thousand or so. Okay. Can we just copy this? Up here. And remove this bit of scaffolding. Looking good. Uh, that spooter might be carrying scaffolding that we need or something, so let's reunite. Why is there still... Oh, that's actually fine. Alright, cool. I think I'll go and get them to actually drop off some of the scaffolding, since it turns out we need so little of it. Let me just check that they've got an upper limit. They do not. Okay. I'll probably end up changing this back, but... We'll give them 200 scaffolding each. Go bots, go. Fantastic. I can already imagine the animations of poor Spidertrons helplessly flailing about while floating away. Oh no, that makes me sad. Poor Spooders. 20,000 to go. Finally. I don't think there's anything else I want to be... Okay, we can always push the biters back a bit more. That's something to do. Uh, especially looking for clearing out this big area and hopefully finding some choke points. Do we have artillery range over here? Oh, that's right. We already semi-cleared this area with artillery, softened it up for the spiders. Uh, that one's probably fine. We'll check on them in a few minutes. Uh, meanwhile, let's use the nav set. And artillery goes here. That's actually quite a bit more range. Fantastic. The auto target range isn't that much more, but when you multiply it out with the manual range, it is quite a bit. We just got Morpheus is not chosen one. Get to Neo. Can already imagine the animations of oh yeah. It would be cool if that was put in the mod. <laughs> but I don't want to lose my spiders to space. Oh, the spiders still have a long way to go. They're not going to run into the counterattacks. 
uh, even a little bit. Away go the shells. Did I target this? Yeah, I did. That's a juicy target. I wonder if we could hit five of those. Let's try. Slightly out of range. Is there a shell coming yet? Definitely is. And... It only hit two of them. Too greedy. Much too greedy. Alright, that's probably enough of that for now. Meanwhile, we are ready to go to Morpheus. Now, we have a cargo rocket silo, cargo landing pad, signal transmitters and receivers, bots, roboports, substations. I guess we could take some more repair packs. Uh, solar power, at nine core mining drills, which is where it starts to get out of hand with the diminishing returns. That's the equivalent of three if there wasn't diminishing returns. Uh, fuel refineries, I don't think we need to take an extra ten of those. I'm already carrying them. Um... A lot of speed and productivity modules, enough cargo rocket sections that even if there was no efficiency with recycling them, we could come back home. A little bit of rocket fuel, which is really just for flying around. That's basically nothing when it comes to refueling to come back home. We're going to have to do that uh, by tapping some crude oil. Ten meteor defense installations. 100 ammo, and an umbrella. Oh, and some, quite a lot of cliff explosives. Considering we're just trying to set up a small outpost that's going to drill core fragments and send them back, and is going to receive what it needs to send them back. Um, oh, that's right. Um, I actually wanted to do... Probably a nuclear plant there. So 10, 150, 200, 550, 100. I think that is what we need for one of these. 512 pipe. Let's add that. Um, Accumulators, substations, yellow inserters. Well, we're already carrying those. Uh, a bit of solar, combinator, radar, colored chests, some lights. Oh, and 6.5 thousand uh, scaffold. Uh, not scaffolding, landfill. Uh, 6,600 will definitely cover it. And why don't we add that to the pile? We've got 
quite a bit of uh, storage space left still. When you get there, choose the red pill. Your mod list is missing LTN. Oh. Okay, I will add it uh, next time. Thank you. So we've got a few things we need to wait to get loaded now. Whoops. We probably don't need these anymore. I'll make sure it empties the... Actually, I think that'll get pushed into the system anyway. Okay. Uh, so while we wait for that to load, let's look at our spiders again in orbit. Get them back to building out that rail block. Can I do this? Yes, okay. This might be more scaffolding than they can carry. We'll see. Oh, but they need to... They need to be able to get there as well. Okay. We're almost there. These are already marked for deconstruction. And how goes the loading? Uh, still an awful lot of landfill to go. Why don't we bring our landfill spiders over here? And we'll speed that up a bit. Kitty emotes. Oh, there goes some landfill. Okay, turn off... Oh, I need to have some inventory if I'm going to do that. That would probably help. Um, considering they've already done a thousand, I think it's going to be fine. Where's that one I got the... that I gave the extra logistic requests? It's this one. Huh? Oh, there's no room for that stuff to be going into the trash. I see. Okay, what if we change this to 7700? And I'll be those settings to the others. Solid rocket fuel zero. I don't I can't really be bothered going through every item in the game and setting it to zero with these ones. Maybe later. I could copy the settings from the construction spiders and go from there. That's also the first step in making some deconstruction spiders that just carry bots and pick stuff up. Um, so it's kind of two jobs in one. But I don't feel like doing it right now. Got our... Why do we always seem to lack nuclear reactors? I had 10 in my inventory or something like that that I just dropped earlier. Um, nuclear reactors. Keep going until we've got 10. Let's make it 20. And what are we missing here? Copper plate, really? 
Okay. It's probably because I never added a system to put copper plate into the network after I changed it. So let's do that now. Um, upper plate. 4,000? No, 4,800. Make sure this is full if there's random copper lying around. But... Don't put stuff into the chests unless, uh, let's say there's less than 4,000 copper in the robo network. And if we do that on the other side of the balancer, That should be sufficient to get that copper moving as well. And we'll have the opposite condition on this one. Copper plate in the logistic network has to be greater than 8,000. That's taking a surprisingly long time to empty that side of the belt. A very long time, actually. The main bus isn't even moving. There we go. All right, so that should be our nuclear reactors that we should have had ages ago. That's one. Zombidito, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so how many nuclear reactors are we waiting on here? We need eight. Um, I think we're requesting ten just because it fits in a stack and it is possible to lose some items in transit. I could just carry them myself. I do have one inventory slot still available. What is that? Looked like a fluorescent light. Alright, let's check on orbit while we wait for that. What? Where are the spiders? Y you gotta be kidding. We lost spiders to this again. I didn't think I even moved them over here. Uh, I gotta be more careful with that. Not that I should have to be more careful with that, but... Gotta go with reality. Do I go all the way back here? Just to get our spiders back. That was like almost half an hour ago, wasn't it? But it was like five spiders. Uh, what have we actually done since then? We had a bunch of rocket fuel come nope. here. I added the... Um, 
I added the request for nuclear things. I added, I noticed this problem and added that. Let's blueprint that as well. Added that to the main bus so we can get copper. And not a whole lot else unless you count queuing up some orders to clear out biders. What takes more work, replacing the spiders or reloading? I th think reloading is better, especially because I can speedrun the actually useful things that I did. But yeah, danger, danger, whenever you delete scaffolding with spiders. Alright, first things first. Uh, this constant combinator goes here. This thing goes here. And power pole goes here. Uh, we're going to request a bunch of solid rocket fuel. And then... Won't be long till that's full. Uh, and the spiders... I may not have the... Uh, maximum requests for the scaffolding for them. So they're going to end up too full. So let's alter that for now. And then carefully bring them over here. Maybe a solo spider for removing scaffold. I'm not sure if that would make it that much of a difference or not. So far we've never lost the last spider, so you might be right, actually. Um, let's just mark all of this for deconstruction. And wait till it's done. And then... This goes up here. This goes... Oh. Tiles. This goes here. That one's already correct. Uh, I can, that one's already in the right spot. This one can definitely use a trim. One, two, three, four, five spiders. Okay. I think the rule will be spiders have to be outside of the deconstruction area and they're not allowed to move if we're um, removing scaffolding. I'll put that there for now. And then bring them over here. Right up here, I think. Move them ever so slightly closer. Sorted out what you were going to take for Morpheus. Yes, indeed. Space rail looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I like it. Alright, we're mostly... Oh, are we getting our nuclear plants? Yes, yes we are. This should be a stack inserter. Okay. Now we can move the spiders a bit closer. Move 
remove all of this, please. And this. Actually, delete those as well. And this. And this. And these. And we're going to just reap them towards... Uh, well, there's no scaffolding marked for deconstruction here. But yeah, we're going to always make sure there's a few tiles between their feet and any scaffolding marked for deconstruction. Wait for it? Wait for what? It's getting to, it's getting to the point where I'm like a bit scared like, paranoid, even. Okay. Maybe it would have been easier to just extend the scaffolding out this way. Let's remove all of this. And all of these. And so on. Little by little. Very carefully. I don't have to worry that I'm going to, like, not notice that a spider disappeared. As long as we're looking here, I, we would see a bunch of bots suddenly fly away if that happened. So that's one thing, at least. Come on. There you go. At this point, I'm wishing I had given them extra Roboports so they have lots of range. Force a quick save? Can you do that? I thought you could just save or not. Um, is it F5, F6? How do you even check that? Controls. Tools. Is there a shortcut for quick save? That's mods. Editor. Debug. F5. That's, uh, debug stuff. Let me check the controls and search for quick bar, quick bars, save? No. Not seeing it. We could just save it, though. That might be a good idea. On my setup, it's F5. Okay. You have rebound it. Yeah. Well, I did... I, I think I did rebind F5. It's right next to the debug settings, and this is debug. Please get rid of that little bit of scaffolding. No. I just want them to pick up these ones so I can move the spiders closer without being scared. 
Oh, they are having trouble recharging. All right, it's time to leave them alone for a bit. We are so close to going to Morpheus. So very close. And once we're fueled, we're going to get rid of these. Because they're on the wrong side of that pump. I just have a system in place whereby we don't overfill these storage tanks so that if we cancel a huge trip like this, uh, that fuel is reclaimed. Although, considering just how big this, uh, just how expensive this is, I don't know if we have enough tanks for what would be required. It's probably fine, though. Now, we are ready. Cargo 420. Uh, actually, we're still requesting uh, two more nuclear plants, which we don't really need, but we also need a lot of uh, heat pipe and exchanges. I don't think... oh. Yeah, we did not set this up for quickly making nuclear reactors. Um, let's go give it a hand, shall we? I don't really want to not take the spare reactors and risk being short one or two. Where's our red circuits? Oh, there they go. And still need like another 200 almost. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so that's red circuits. That just leaves steel, which shouldn't take as long. Uh, we do need another 200. Let's go grab it from somewhere. There's actually a belt of steel here. Uh, can we get some red belt? There we go. Does this use steel? Of course it does. And go. That should be the last of it. And then the bots will rush to fill out the rest, and we're done. Reactor fuel? Uh, good point. I mean, I was going to set, uh, set it up. Oh. Do we already have it? No, we don't. Uh, let's go for a thousand. Which has suddenly become the priority, so the bots are going to actually do something. Alright. Batteries are charged. Let's pick up the rest of these. And I would say that I should be able to send the spiders over here with no worries, but even though we're placing scaffolding, I don't trust this anymore. So we're going to be careful. It's probably only when ground gets deleted uh, beneath them, though, I'm pretty sure. 
I just don't want to risk another load. Right, so this goes here. This goes here. Is that actually... That's perfect. And this goes here. And that should be our blueprint. I think I remember dropping off a bunch of signals up here at one point. There's 46. Uh, we've got 220 regular signals, which is a lot. 700 main signals. Fantastic. Not that we actually need the signals here to make the blueprint. So... Make sure to avoid those bits of scaffolding there. Let's just check this is actually... stops where the big poles stop. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, it won't blueprint stuff that you've... Oh, it will. I didn't think it would blueprint bits that you've marked for deconstruction. Let's scare the spiders over here. And before... Uh, before I try to make this blueprint, let's check... With the 108, height 108. I don't think we have to remember that part. Um, grid position. No, I think we do have to remember that. 108 and 42 for both of these. 108 and 42. Now, let's grab all of this. Include tiles. Snap to grid relative, 108. That's, uh, it might be a little bit different. I don't think it is because the scaffolding reaches the exact same spot as the big poles. This should still work. Okay. Space. Real block. Fantastic. That deserves a save. Especially because I'm terrified of losing the spiders. You don't want straight lines in roundabout? Oh, I do. Um, the straight lines... Oh, I forgot the straight lines. Whoops. Uh, okay then. Good call. And I think that's all it takes. Is that? That looks a bit weird. Let's make sure that that's actually connected properly. That's just a shadow. No gaps on those two sides. And let's also make sure we copy the straight throughs at the roundabouts. And no matter how many times we've rotated, it should be basically the same. Although I'm seeing these little weird blue things. I don't think it makes a difference. 
All right. Let's get you to build all of this. Not that we have to... Uh, I know just how to fix it. It's fine. That should reconnect the copper wire. Okay. So the rail is actually connected now. Looking good. What about here? I see a straight rail ghost. Let's try this again. Tiles, entities... Uh, I believe it was 180 and 42. Uh, that doesn't seem right. One o eight and forty two, slight difference. Snap to grid relative one o eight forty two and space rail lock. Fantastic. I think this is finally it. Oh. And now is a good time to save. And I would like to try sending the spiders to run a lap and just be absolutely sure that they can't fall off the edge of the world if all they're doing is placing scaffolding. I'm pretty sure it's only when they're deconstructing it that we have to worry about. Yeah, this is looking okay. Fantastic. Obviously, we're going to need a lot more scaffolding when we want to actually build things in here. But to, uh, to just extend the rail network out, it's really not that much difficult. Not that much difficulty. I found a new weird way to say something. Fantastic. Now, uh... We do not have the thousand... Oh, okay. We're doing steam turbines first. A ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've run out of steam turbines. Time to bump up the maximum to build up for those. Uh, condense it. Oh, we're actually filling a chest with steam. Wait, this is condenser turbine. This is... This is steam turbine. So we're limiting it to 460. Um... Considering that we need more than... F oh, 200. That should be enough. Huh. Why did we not have enough steam turbines? Probably because we didn't have copper in the robot network earlier. Yeah, that'd be why. Alright, so we're waiting on six more steam turbines.
which is bottlenecked on small electric motors. No, it's bottlenecked on the inserter. Very much bottlenecked on the inserter. Cool. So now the question is, where do we want to start the space rail? I think the answer is down the bottom here. Even though it will be a little bit of a nuisance coming up here for scaffolding, we can also... We could always change where we send the scaffolding to. That would probably help. Um, I don't think we'll be keeping those rail blocks there. That's just... Unfortunately, by changing the logistic requests, we can't get the scaffolding to jump back into the trunk. Um... Let's limit this to like 300 each. And I'll send this spooter back for resupply. Uh, we should also get them to request some uh, signals. One stack of that, and two stacks, wait, two stacks of that. And then copy those across, copied the wrong one, let's start with the one at the back. We do still have five spiders, right? The one at the back just became this... The, oh no. Which one is it? Is this one? No. Yes. Uh, I hope it's this one. Now the bottom one. Okay. This is challenging. I think I've got the copy-paste right. There we go. Fantastic. And we're finally ready to launch. That's everything. We got our nuclear fuel, we got enough for a big nuclear plant. Uh, we've got all the other things. And if, if there's still something we forgot, then we can have it sent. Let's make sure the destination's correct. Morpheus, general vicinity. Um, I could use some more roboports. Well, I don't really need more than like 16 there, but... First thing when we land is... Deploy spiders, set up solar, roboport, storage, and pick up all the stuff. Assuming I should probably set up uh, combat stuff, actually. Whoops. Because last time, even though there wasn't much threat, we did land right next to some biters. Did you account for cargo loss? Yes. That's why we've got, for example, 10 nuclear reactors when we actually need 8. And I'm pretty sure you can't cargo lose things that take up an entire inventory slot. Okay. Morpheus. Manual launch. Destination position. General vicinity. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I'm carrying that we don't necessarily need, but can't be bothered to remove it, to be honest. 
don't know what 50 spiked steel wall is going to accomplish, but I could take some more storage chests. Uh, I'm not going to wait for that. All right, let's get going. And away we eventually, eventually go. Fantastic. A couple of million iron is a good start in case we need any. I see zero biters. Very nice. Uh, let's start with some solar panels. And... Well, first of all, let's put our spiders out. That was quick. Um... Those legs. Let's also put our roboports back in. And, oh, turn off RoboPort. Turn off RoboPort. Pick up some solar panels. Turn this off. Uh, set that to infinite. Set that to infinite. Turn RoboPort on again. Uh, RoboPorts go here. Actually, whoops. Should have done this. Let's put the robot ports up this way. Storage chests. And drop some robots into the network. That's a lot of bots. Uh, they don't seem to have any power yet. Although they are doing a few jobs anyway. Nice. That's a start. Alright, that should get everything done eventually, but uh, let's make sure we speed it up a bit more. And then... My bots are all being silly. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to have to turn my bots off. Let's just shove this stuff into storage. And the construction spiders... Uh, we need some logistic bots in play. That'll get sorted automatically. I should set up a remote, or at least just set a leader for each group of spider trunks. Let's make you blue this time. I feel like this is a bit easier, maybe. that following blue? Yes, it is. And 
still a few more military spiders to go. Maybe bringing 20 of them is a little bit overkill. On the other hand, if they're just using lasers, not so much. Alright, so you can be the leader of the construction spiders. Oops. Fantastic. And let's change you to... Wait. And all of a sudden the construction spider bots feel like doing something as well. Nice. Uh, we're very, very bottlenecked on power for the moment, which is not a big surprise. Let's give these to the spiders. And we've already got some water, that's really good. Um, I guess the next thing to do is watch out for biters. Should we start scanning? The biters, if, if you've never exposed the uh, chunks before, my understanding is the biters won't expand. So maybe it would be better to just explore it all out with the military spiders instead of scanning. Maybe you will find out that we're on an island. That would be nice. Here is some barrel. Half a mil. Nice. And once we've got all this built, and we're recharged and stuff. Oh, we might actually be on an island. It did say oceans, I think. Morpheus has ocean, yes. That, that looks like a lake. Maybe not. Okay, so far so good. It looks like the shoreline goes here. Unless... There's an angry face in the ground. Actually, it kind of looks like the angry face of some kind of animal. Alright, I am losing hope that we're going to be on a small island, but it's still possible. Biter threat is minimal, that's good. I'd still rather, um, at least for now, I'd rather explore by using the spiders than scanning and getting the spiders to start expanding. Here is some cryonite. <laughs> you like that? Look at this, like, angry face, some, probably like a front right shoe or something. Another leg here and here. I guess this would be the tail. Deformed rabbit. Yeah, you could sort of see an ear up here. <laughs> welcome, uh, Ganijin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Power situation is improving. Bots are very upset with a couple of the Spidertrons, it seems like. Construction. Ooh, we might be on an island. That would be perfect if we are. Oh, and there's the pyramid. 
if we're on an island with the pyramid, uh, and we clear out all the biters on the island, and the biters that are in the chunks that we never revealed don't use UPS or anything, and never expand, uh, that would be the best possible outcome. I guess I should prepare... to go into uh, the pyramid. We've got Tesla gun and rail gun, should be okay. I'll also take some lasers. Time to discover the treasures and legends of the pyramid <laughs> Pyramid of the Angry Island. Yes, indeed. Oh. Um, that requires my attention. Although, probably... Probably the only thing that could threaten them is worms, really. Especially with the small biter threat that we've got on this planet. Um, I forgot I can browse around with the navsat like that as well. Alright, let's get them to clear this out. Send them back to base. And while they're doing that, I will visit the pyramid. And hopefully not immediately die. Oh wow, that's effective. Yeah, that'll do. I think we'll be okay. What's in this fancy chest? Speed 9. Five times energy consumption, double speed from one module. And plus 20% pollution. Wow, that is OP. The speed module or the Tesla gun? It's called the Tesla gun, yep. It is very effective at clearing out the spawners. Okay. Uh, apparently we didn't mark the scrap for deconstruction. Let's do that. Oh, and there's a capsule still just sitting there. All right. Capsule goes here. Now, I really want to find out that this is an island and we're totally safe. That's uh, not looking that promising. Uh, this side is looking very promising. Thought that was a spawner for a second there. Let's get the spooters to clear that one out, and these ones. Alright, let's not get too carried away uh, revealing biter bases all at once. Hey, Zavoxifal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh oh, alerts? Those are fine. That's normal. It's just uh, Biders attacking the walls in uh, on Nalvis. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I would say it's just about time to start designing stuff, but I really don't... If, if possible, I really don't want to be doing that while I'm worrying about uh, the biters. Especially since I just discovered some and they're going to expand. Okay. Now, next step is... Uh, keep placing these until we run out. And... Oh, a lot of that's in range of the Robo Network too. Nice. I don't think we're going to be bothering to mine this copper, since copper is something that we've actually got in storage back on Nervous now. And here we go. Yeah, I don't think that going to take a scratch, even without putting more shields on the spider at the front. I don't think they're ever going to get scratched by anything on this planet, unless they park at maximum range next to a worm. We need more roboports. I guess we can use the nav set to explore up here. There is some uranium. This map gen is very good at teasing the possibility of an island, but never actually getting there. That's a lot of biter bases all of a sudden. Very big change, actually. Wow. Alright, let's get to it. With just lasers, I'm not so confident that I can queue up move orders that will keep them safe, so let's react to the spit. So much for there not being anything on this planet that was going to scratch them. Um, I can't really afford the time to send them all the way back here for me to change the shield configuration on the one at the front. I'll try and clear out these bases carefully. And then we'll send them back. Step one is to bait the biters themselves out to fight out of range of the worms. Maybe send one back and slap a whole inventory full of repair packs. Um, I don't like to put the... I don't like to have the bots trying to do repairs in the middle of fights. Um, so I just put plenty of shielding on them and bring them back if they get scratched. 
Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of butts. And we have no supply chain for butts here. Nor for repair packs. Gotcha. No worries. Alright, this is still fairly easy as long as we're careful. As long as we're careful. Uh, let's back off. We're going too slow. It's the slow more than anything uh, that makes the spit dangerous. I mean, the damage is high as well, but still. Damage, range, and slow all in one is a pretty strong package. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Appropriate place for that sound clip? Absolutely. How much longer does this chain of bases go? We need to get rid of all of the bases that we discover and hope that the biters don't expand outside of what we've seen. Fantastic. Alright, let's bring them back home and I'll put some more shields on the one at the front. We're really not lacking any firepower. In the meantime, um, we're going to be designing from scratch the, uh, the outpost for this place. But we've got a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like, based on previous ones. Um, I suppose I could start by building it around the four mining drills, because they are quite big. Very big, actually. Let's move these. Um, also, let's get me some robots. Where can I find a stack or two? Should have taken that stack of 44. There we go. Excuse me. All right, so I was going to do a line of nine of these, but I guess it would make a lot more sense if they were together. Although I don't like having to do an odd number with two by two. It's fine. And then, instead of a cannon, we're going to need a cargo 
rocket silo. I guess we could just put that right about here. We don't need to make any um, uh, delivery cannon capsules this time, but we do need to unpack cargo rocket sections. Unpack cargo rocket sections and I think I will space this like so. Uh, we can't put a filter on one of these, so what if I move this over here? Cargo rocket section goes here. And we obviously need a condition on this. Cargo rocket section is less than a hundred. Lunchtime Nutella with cracker bed. Cracker bread. Fair enough. Uh, substation here, maybe. And our condition for picking up uh, the core fragments is going to be that the rocket is ready to launch. There are better ways to do it, but it takes more combinators and stuff. So this cargo rocket signal right here just means this thing is ready to launch. Maze toast. Indeed. Uh, let's put our cargo rocket sections in here. And what else? Unfortunately, the cargo landing pad has to be completely empty before um, an automatic launch will happen. So we need to have lots and lots of storage. Uh, in fact, we need... 11? Yeah, 11 chests in order to store what may have come in the cargo landing pad. Not so convenient that this lines up for 9 chests. I have cake. Nice. Um, I guess we're not going to direct insert for that in that case. We're going to need to do a purple chest and try and make sure there's enough storage space. So I guess if we're not taking directly from there, the position of this doesn't really matter. Um... What else? It's easiest if... Um... Oh, that's... I didn't realize that would happen already. That's fine. It's easiest if we have a separate inserter for the space capsules. Uh, 
And the condition on this one is, as you might expect, uh, space capsule equals zero. And that just leaves the fuel. We need to leave room for a signal receiver. Wait, do we? I don't think we need a receiver to decide when to send uh, the cargo rocket back full of um, full of core fragments. We only need a transmitter to. Uh, to tell the Nalvis rocket when to launch to send resupply so that we can make more, so that we can launch more, um, cargo rockets. So, we're going to be reading from the Robo Network. And I probably shouldn't connect that yet. How much spare power do we have? Hard to say because it's night time, but... Well, yeah, it's hard to say. Happens every February or March. Having a heat wave, so cooking supper at night for lunch the next day is a real pain. Rip. You could set up a green signal launch for this if rocket parts fail, uh, fall below a certain amount. Yeah, what I want to do is that, but for multiple resources. Um, let's see. It's really just cargo rocket sections. Uh, cargo rocket sections, capsules, and media defense installation ammo. And we automatically get one capsule uh, plus some random number of cargo rocket sections when the rocket is sent. So, what's this going to look like? We need to read from the logistic network. Uh, I'll just put that here for now. And I think it's just going to be like a series of, well, it's not just going to be a series of decider combinators. We should probably use negative numbers for how much we want of each resource. Well, we could put it all on one constant combinator, but just for argument's sake, uh, let's say we'll try and have five capsules and okay, for storage reasons, I kind of hmm. This should have a condition that we're out of cargo rocket sections. So we prioritize... We prioritize using up the thing, the cargo rocket sections that are already unpacked. And as far as requesting, we're only looking at the packed cargo rocket sections. So... 100? Enough for five launches. Well, this would be sick. I have to remember that the rocket sends one as well. Uh, it's fine. It'll work itself out. And Meteor Defense Installation Ammo. We're going to need that.
And then... And then what? Uranium? Fuel cell? Let's aim for a thousand. So basically... We're going to read from the logistic network. Minus what we're asking for for each resource. And... The e obvious easy way to do it is... Uh, if it's less than zero, then... Output the input count. Maybe I could multiply it by two. The thing I'm trying to figure out is how do I have like a decent request threshold so that we're not saying it's fine to just send a rocket for like five uranium fuel cells or something. So, negative 1,000, if we're negative, and put signals negative 588, for some reason we've only got 412 uranium fuel cells at the moment. I thought I asked for 1,000. Must have been 500. No, it was a thousand. Do you mean to tell me we actually lost like half of the uranium fuel cells? That is... Harsh. Maybe the construction spiders have some. They do. Okay. Um... Let's get them to unload what they've got. But also, I'm surprised I didn't have that included in the zero requests for them. Alright, let's just bring him back for now. I'm off, thanks for the stream. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. I think I'll just take everything from each of the spiders and let the logistic bots figure it out. So those two have been cleared. That one's been cleared. And these two, this one's been cleared. This one has not. Okay. So now we know the construction spiders aren't carrying anything they're not supposed to. And the logistic bots have some work to do. Let's play with our military... Oh. So that's why they didn't come back. Let's get some shielding on the one at the front first. At the very least, if we do have to make a defensive wall, it's going to be small. But hopefully we can clear out this con uh, continent. 
Alright. The bots have actually caught up already. Uh, could you please... Automatically request flat solar panels? So, we have 861, that's still not a thousand. Did we actually lose that many uh, uranium fuel cells? Looks like we did. Okay, Mr. Shield. There you go. And off you go. Let's get you down this way. There's our oil. Oh, luckily there's some oil over here, actually. So we don't have to go in the general direction of where there's biters. Do you think they will bring flying biters anytime soon? I would imagine not, but I could be wrong. I always thought flying biters would be great for a mod to make it more difficult. I think there is one that basically gives them um, like Zerg mutalisks, actually. Oh, why are there construction bots? Uh. I think I overdid it. Do we have logistic bots to bring those back to me? They're not in the logistic network though. Okay. Give me just a few more bots please. And then... There we go. Swimming biters? That might be interesting. And unfair. Where's my amphibious units? Alright, let's use the nav set for exploration. I think I see... biters. And more biters. They're definitely going to roll over that without trying. This one is a little bit more something to be careful of. Let's stop exploring so we don't find more biters. Okay, so we have 861 uh, uranium fuel cells. Let's say our target is a thousand. So if we're negative, we output the amount we've got. And then I'm thinking, actually, we should have another decider combinator, whereby Oh, we could just do that here. Uh, let's say if it's less than negative 500. So that that's how we could do our request threshold. Um, if it's less than negative 500... So we want a thousand, we've got 861, and if the amount that we want, if we're 500 short of the amount that we want, 
we want to pass this through here. And then I think just, we could multiply it by negative one, but might not even need to. Um, h times negative one. Okay, so let's try that with another variable. We have 60, only 60. Uh, media defense ammo. We want... Let's say we want... Uh, I could take some out of the logistic network to play with the variables. We've got 40. We want 100, and let's say the stack threshold... Uh, the request threshold is 50. So we say, uh, if media defense installation ammo is less than negative 50, then output input count, and, and we're requesting 60. Cool. We will need to multiply this by negative 1 at some point, so we'll do it here. And this, I think we'll just send that straight to uh, Nelvis. What? Who? Someone stole my combinator. Or do I not have bots right now? My RoboPot's not on, that's why. Okay. So... So currently we're requesting 60... Uh, media Defense Installation Ammo. Nymphairline. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Uh, cargo rocket sections packed, 100, sure, and we'll say the same thing, cargo rocket sections packed, I think for media defense installation ammo we'll go for a significantly larger request, just so we're making it worth the trip. Same goes for uranium fuels. That's 10 stacks. Uh, that's 100 stacks. We're only going to be asking for, like, four things, as far as I can think of, so... So maybe we should dedicate like a hundred stacks to each. It seems super overkill to ask for a hundred space capsules though. But that does give us like a hundred stacks for each item and make sure there's plenty of space left over. Uh... Yeah. I don't think we're going to go that crazy with space capsules, though. We'll see. Maybe just ten? Ten seems like a good mixture between reasonable and accessible. Um, I think we'll just have the request threshold for... Now that we have to think about this being precise, this should be less than or equal to negative 10. Not worried about being that precise with these other ones. Okay, fine. Less than or equal. Less than or equal. Less than or equal. Right. Capsule. Capsule. 
So... If we used each, we could just have the same request threshold for everything, and it would also send duplicates of whatever we've already got in the uh, robo network. That might not be so great. Actually, no. Um, because we're only going to be sending things that are in the negatives. That has to be on the constant combinators. Um, yeah, unfortunately, there's some very, very different stack sizes, so it's not like we can do it that way. But there's only going to be so many things that we need sent here automatically. So that is fuel, ammo, cargo rocket sections packed, and capsules, and... And we're going to request however many of each. There's going to be a lot of spare space left over in these cargo rockets, but I'm not that worried about it, to be honest. Trying to make the most of all of the cargo space would A, be very difficult, and B, we'd be waiting a very long time for one cargo rocket to be sent. I mean... Once everything's going, that would be a good thing, but I don't necessarily want to be, like, trying to load up uh, a million cargo rocket sections or fuel either. But I think we should definitely bump up our request for media defense installation ammo by quite a lot. So how much does this stack to you? Uh, only 20, which means 2,000 is 100 stacks. Okay. That's actually totally fine. So we've got well less than 100 stacks. Uh, this is 20 stacks. Yeah. 100 stacks of this... 20 stacks of this, um, 50 stacks of this, and maybe 10 for this one. Plenty of space left over in the cargo rocket still. Alright, let's take a little break from thinking about that, and clear out some biters. Hopefully find the edge of this continent. That's nothing but worms. I am gaining a faint hope again. That's going to try to go through the water. That we are actually on an island. That's iron. Not seeing any. There we go. And I think that'll do for now. We don't want them making any expansions while we're not looking. Right. How do we decide when to send the rocket? I'm not actually sure. So I think it was going to be this one we were going to use. Morpheus pad, yes. Uh, Morpheus pad, there we go. By what logic do we decide this is enough that we should send a rocket? 
Hello, Netanova. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So on the green wire, we're sending what we want. How much power do we have here? Not enough for a signal transmitter yet. Let's remedy that. Probably carrying some solar myself. Not quite. Let's fix that also. And I'll lend it a hand. How's our military doing? Completely unscratched. Good. And let's continue exploring this island, hopefully. This hopefully island, I could say. It's starting to look good. And not as good. All right. There's a long way for it to go over this way, but I think ultimately it will be a continent that we can clear out. I mean, it definitely will. Um, we won't have to clear out the entire planet. Well, now that we've found these biters, let's get our spiders to pay them a visit. That should do it. And place some more solar panels. Wait, how many solar are you carrying? That's iron. Preferably place it where it's not going to block any resources. Go get some more solar panels. Oh, you're actually still carrying some. It's accumulators. I forgot to set up production for the better solar panels as well. Uh, I guess we do have everything we need in orbit to do that properly now. We should do it in the main bus base for now. And I should go pick up some more accumulators. Now, how's our power looking? Uh, 20 megawatts spare during the day. Fantastic. Let's start transmitting this, and that will set some requests over here. I'm going to leave it on manual launch until I'm sure I've set it up properly. Oh, that's right. I set it up so that, normally I set it up so that if there's nothing left that we're trying to load here, it sends a green signal. Um, we want it to also need a green signal from Morpheus. So it'll, when we use the launch on green signal, um, 
when fuel full, it is going to need to be A, fully loaded, and B, receiving a signal from here. My concern is uh, if I set this so that if this is spitting something out, we send a green signal. Is it possible that this one's already sending a green signal and then this receives a green signal, this transmits a green signal here, and while that was happening... Okay, on the same tick, this receives green signal. We're not trying to load anything here. This is already sending a green signal. Therefore, next tick, it's going to send a green signal. And something like one, two, three ticks later, we're going to be trying to load this. And then this stops sending a green signal. Hmm. We need to make sure the green signal from the signal receiver is delayed until this thing knows that it's supposed to be loading something. I haven't played this mod. Do map generate infinitely? Uh, nope. The... Uh, where's a good example? The planets are actually finite. Oh, we didn't... We trimmed this one. Let's see if I can find one that I haven't done that with. Tullaby? We trimmed Tullaby. Is there a planet left that I had fully scanned that I didn't trim? I don't think there is. Okay, let's go to Tullaby. It's the smallest planet we've got by far. And we're going to scan the surface. Oh, Rose. We've got Rose fully scanned. So you can see it's a sphere. Or a circle, rather. I think Rose is a full planet. Yes, indeed. Okay. So I guess there's no need to... Even though it's a really small planet... Um... Where was it? Calidus... Tolibai. No need to keep scanning with Tolibai. Stop all scans. Trim surface. And that just gives us a few more UPS back. Um, I'm thinking what I may have to do here is literally just add a few combinators so that the signal, the green signal from this one is delayed. So... When this goes from... Uh, when this goes from requesting nothing to requesting something... We're also going to send a green signal at the same time. And... I was just thinking about maybe I could use the signal that says whether this is full or not. Or how many empty slots there are. But no, I don't think so. But we could definitely use like a... If E equals 500, then don't put the green signal through. Actually, that might be all it takes. Um, 
Maybe. That might be a bit risky. So what I was thinking originally was we send the values of what we want to load into the rocket and we send the green signal from here. Uh, it takes one, two, three ticks at least before, let's make it four ticks, it has to go through here. Um, before this thing knows that we're supposed to be loading something actually and stop sending the green signal. So we need it to take like one, two, three, four ticks for the green signal to reach this one as well. Preferably more, just to be safe. The other option I had was, uh, that I had in mind was if if we're receiving, if this is empty, which we can easily check, then don't pass the green signal th through. Is it possible in that case that we would send an almost empty rocket? Um... If this is empty, and this is requesting something, it's going to stop sending green signal. I think it might be possible that if we were cancelling everything and, like, unloading the whole rocket, um, and it was ready to launch, once we're not requesting something here and there's stuff in the rocket and we were trying to unload it, it would send... But is that use case ever going to come up if we're leaving this thing to run automatically from now on? I don't think so. Like, we would have to have requests and then not send a rocket and get rid of the requests, right? What happens when we have requests, we fill the rocket up, we send it, until the rocket actually gets to its destination, we still have requests. But I don't think... Uh, well, we have requests. Uh, we're going to have requests for cargo rocket sections and one space capsule while we wait. That's going to take a little bit of time, but let's suppose that this thing is fully prepared before the cargo arrives at the destination. So this is f this is ready to launch. There's cargo on the way. We're still requesting things. And then... And then nothing. I don't think it's going to launch. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so... If we're requesting nothing, and we're getting a green signal from... Uh, and we're getting a green signal from Morpheus, and the rocket is not empty. Then I th think that's it. Hi, what are your plans today? Vashya Slave, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today I want to get uh, Morpheus running resources back and forth. It is an interstellar planet, so we can't use delivery cannons. So we're going to have to use cargo rockets for everything with our current tech. Which means I have to have another crack at a complicated... Uh, unless I want to use, like, a cargo rocket... Uh, like a, a separate landing pad for each different resource, which is going to be at least four of them. Um... 
And if I were going to not use any circuitry, the rocket would actually have to be full of some ludicrously expensive stuff. One resource for each cargo rocket. Um, yeah, what I'm trying to figure out right now is... Oh, is that biters? Oh, it's a couple of worms. Can the spiders reach that? I don't think they can. Yeah, so we're currently figuring out a request and delivery system. Cool. What about science? Science is going pretty well. We've got all of the rounded science packs uh, in the rail network now. Red, green, military, blue, purple, and yellow. Um, and we've got that fully automated to go here. And we've also got everything that goes into the uh, main bus science base in orbit, uh, fully automated to come up from the ground. The only problem uh, still, what is this? Oh, broken data cards. Yeah, this loop is jammed. Okay. It might be the case that we've sort of already fixed this, but what I might have to do for now... Wait, what is this? Did I? Oh, that does have an output. Okay. Um, so this is just scrap, right? Hmm. What's the easiest way to do this? I think if I add some storage for the broken data cards... Oh, that doesn't fit there. How about this? Given the change that we've made down here, uh, I think that might fix the loop. Where did our spiders go? They're all in one piece still. Good. They haven't fallen when they deconstructed some scaffolding. Okay, my hope is that after that other change we've already made, adding some storage space for uh, broken data cards here is going to get everything flowing again. How many SPM? Um, for the uh, Tier 1 Space Science Packs, uh, what I did was... Build these without any speed modules, and then build everything else to support them. It's actually uh, two-thirds of one science pack per second. So I think that's 40 per minute, right? Yeah, 40 science per minute, theoretically, for any one of these. Um, but we've pretty much run out of things to research with the tier 1 science packs. I guess we could do... Artillery shell shooting speed really doesn't excite me, to be honest. Wait, did we actually finish the productivity? Yeah, we did. Nice. Mining productivity 6. Okay. So this is Morpheus Landing Pad. This is aimed at Morpheus Landing Pad. Uh, here is the Combinator that I wanted to add here. And that's going to have an input from here. And we're going to say... If 
E is less than... How many stacks should we have to fill up before we will send a rocket? Let's see. This is 10 stacks. This is um, at least 50. This is 25 stacks. And this is uh, 10 stacks. Okay. So let's say there have to be 10 stacks used up. So E has to be less than or equal to 490. Um, before we pass through a green signal. Oh, output green signal, input count, not not output green signal 1. It, it has to be conditional on these two things as well. And so, we have to send a green signal from the planet. We have to get a green signal that we're not trying to load anything anymore. And if those two conditions are met, we pass through one green signal here. And if we're using up at least 10 stacks, Uh, then we will pass through the green signal if it exists. And we re we will require a green signal uh, in order to launch. So I'm only a little bit scared of clicking this. Okay, so we didn't actually we didn't accidentally launch a rocket. Fantastic. Yellow and purple, 1k per minute. Uh, let's see. I think purple's our slowest one, by far. Uh, rate calculator... Says we get yellow science of... Uh, 8,000 per minute. Okay, seems good. And... 2.8k production science packs per minute. That's if we can feed everything at that speed. Also, we're having this problem again. Wait, what? Did I never... Huh? Where are these green, sig uh, green circuits supposed to go? That's uh, a mistake. I think the only thing that consumes green circuits is over here. Um, let me just check. Oh, let me just check this whole block. How many green circuits do you consume per second? 65, which I'm pretty sure we're getting from here. And I'm pretty sure the only spot we're consuming green circuits is here, which means... That's heat shielding. Yeah, th there, there's no need to have green circuits here. Whoops. Um, I'm pretty sure the amount of heat shielding we need is minimum. Minimal, 25 per second, yep. That's fine. So we should... But now I'm just going to get rid of the green circuit request. Um, but when I revisit this, maybe we'll just do a station for heat shielding here. Maybe we'll bring those green circuits over this way. I believe F signals full slots. Um, yep, and E signals empty. Um, so we could say F greater than... Uh, greater than or equal to 10. Might be a bit more straightforward. Bit more explanatory. 
Okay. No belt to deliver the heat shield either. Oh, there is. Um, the heat shielding goes here and here and through here and down to here. There's just no heat shielding there at the moment because the train station was blocked the whole time. Uh, if you care to wait a minute, we can see it in action quite soon, actually. Incoming train. And then... It's kind of hard to see the heat shielding, especially at night, but there it is. Um, I had the idea from doing the same thing with red circuits over here, because productivity ones require way fewer red circuits than green, and less than two belts of green. Okay, let's get back to figuring this out. Now, under what conditions do I want to send a green signal? I'm thinking probably if any of these are being requested, honestly. Like, it's going to be pretty hard to come up with some logic that says, like, if there's enough media defense installation ammo missing that we want to request some, but it's not that low, be greedy and wait till we're requesting something else as well. I think we should probably just add like a, if anything greater than zero, then send a green signal. Honestly. Also, where's our power here? Up here. Okay. I think it's gonna look a little better if we do it like that. All right. Anything greater than zero. Green signal. And that's not going to give us a premature launch. Input signals, one green signal. Since we're still loading stuff, this one is not sending a green signal. Once it does, we will output one green here. And if more than... 10. That's not going to prematurely send a rocket if we're still loading, because this one won't send a green signal. Um, yeah, if there's more, greater than or equal to 10 slots full, pass through the green signal if we're sending it. Cool. So all we're waiting on now is quite a few space capsules, honestly. Um, I think we've only got... Well, there's your problem. We've got a yellow inserter inputting all the stuff required for space capsules here. Um, it was more than sufficient for a long time, but right now it's not cutting it. Let's bump up these requests as well. It's a hundred of everything, except 50 solar, accumulator, and glass. I want to have enough in this chest for a whole other capsule. How much have we got of everything? 52,000 heat shielding. Uh, 14,000 LDS. 
No rocket control units. We've got those on the belt, though. Uh, rocket fuel is at 4k. Lots of these and 10,000 glass. Okay, good. So we'll have those space capsules relatively soon. And seems like we've got plenty of logistic storage as well. Um, I might just, while I'm here, also ask for some more storage chests. Since I want to make sure we've got tons of storage and we're never at risk of uh, running out of whatever's being sent to us. Running out of space for it, that is. Okay. Now, how much... Uh, why is this in my inventory? How much are we looking at here? Almost a belt. Nice. Oh, that might be too much for a stack inserter. In fact, it definitely will be. Let's move all of these down one tile. And I'll grab that last ore mining drill. Thank you very much. Oh, it's getting chucked in my trash slots. This is out of range of the RoboPod. Here we go. What? This is nine. Good. Okay. At full speed, this is going to give us just barely under half a belt on this side. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, so, we're going to need some stack inserters. We're not going to pick anything up until the rocket is ready to launch. That's just the easiest way to make sure we leave room. Alternatively, we need to say... If cargo rocket is equal to zero... And E is greater than 5. Uh, don't pick anything up. But that requires like two combinators. We're also going to power manage our four mining drills. To do that, we're just going to say... Accumulator charge has to be greater than 99% in order for these belts to be moving. Since the core mining drills have a zero minimum power consumption, uh, we don't need any power switches or anything like that. Thank you for the follow, Popper Wing. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sepulznia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. No belt to deliver the heat shielding either. Uh, the. Do you mean for the capsules? The bots were doing that. Or was that at the uh, purple science build? Um, no, the belt is definitely working for the heat shielding. And away goes the rail as well. Fantastic. I wonder if it would actually be possible. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, I was thinking about doing an 8 to 8 balancer for the rail. So that we don't get, like, only half of the machines working. If we've only got one of the train stations dropping off rail. 
but it's going to work through 180 per second. Um, it's going to take less than two minutes. In, in fact, less than a minute and a half to consume all of that. Uh, that's with only half of the machines active. So I think that's fine, actually. Nice. No worries. All right. So is three stack insert three stack inserters? No, this is this is going to be forty per second. I thought it was. That's slightly less than half a belt, and this is seventeen. Okay. Forty per second is still pretty good. How many stack inserters does it take to pick up 40 per second off of a blue belt? I guess if it's more than this, we could put some more over here. That's no big deal. I think it will be more than three stack inserters, but that's fine. And this one... I haven't actually set up a cargo landing pad or the core fragments yet. Um, I think we'll put it next to where we pick up the fragments from the delivery cannon chest. We've got a spot right here uh, that doesn't see a lot of train throughput. So let's go like this. Put a train right about here. Actually, I want to make sure. I think there would be where it usually is. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Okay, cool. Let's get our construction spiders to pay that place. That's not our construction spiders. Where are our construction spiders? I don't know if they need a resupply or not. I think I sent them here just to get them to throw out some rail in the meantime. We're not gonna... Oh, that's right. We're gonna have to get them to pick up a cargo landing pad. I'll just get the leader to carry that, I think. Where does the cargo landing pad go? Satellite... Oh, here it is. Exactly one of those, please. And for some reason we're not doing... lift explosives here. Okay. Get them to build what they can there. And then head back for resupply. Where are our military spiders? Just sitting in at the resupply point. Um, I think I'll just park them over here so that they're ready next time I want to use them. Okay. Oh, we got our rocket already. Wow. Um, I wasn't expecting it that fast. It just took time to get the space capsules, really. And we got all the stuff that we asked for sent to us. Now the question is... Is there any danger of this thing being ready to launch and thinking that it should launch before the bots catch up with unloading some of this stuff? How many logistic bots? Okay, I think we should... shove these into purple chests as quickly as possible. 
So we're still saying that it should send a rocket. I think it's going to send two rockets, like, really quick at this rate. Uh, I think it just stopped receiving the green signal. It's receiving... It's trying to load a space capsule. Wait, it's still trying to load space capsules? Hold on, how many space capsules do we have? Zero. Oh, they're in the... Okay. Nope. That doesn't get counted as being in the logistic network if it's in a storage chest. I don't want 48... Uh, I don't want 48 uh, space capsules that are not getting counted by our request system. That can stay there. And I don't I think I think I'll change these to green chests actually. That solves the problem. This now counts as being in the logistic network. Storage chests should count as in the network, yeah. Um Connect your cargo landing pad to the combinators as well. That's actually the perfect solution. Yeah, that's all it takes. Easy. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, thanks, Morpheus. Okay, in that case, we don't need to... We don't need to unload these as urgently, but there's really no harm in having the 50 logistic bots doing their thing. Funny the things you can miss, isn't it? Alright. So now we're not requesting anything, except for the, um... Oh crap. Nope, 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 nope. Don't... Don't request the hundred storage chests. Thank you. Okay, cool. But yeah, I think we did it. I think that's it. And obviously, with this being automatically supplied, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to... Uh, to send what we need to back home. Uh, in fact, where are our construction spiders? They're still coming back. Did they lose any bots behind them? Doesn't look like it. Alright, cool. Once they get back and resupply, we'll have them make a... Uh, probably here is fine. We're going to need to make a... Uh, wow, this is full. We're completely full on... We're almost as full as we can be on Holomite Core Fragments. That's good. How is this not full? Because this one somehow got further ahead of the average? It's fine. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, let's just check if the recipe to break down barrel core fragments. E yeah, it's exactly like the other ones. Cool. So that's going to be a copy paste job um, where we just change the recipes and stuff to make another one of these. I would love to have it... Oh, this'll do. Right here. So, since we're going to put that here, should we perhaps actually put our cargo rocket landing place, uh, landing pad, um, right next to it? That might be better. And I guess
guess it's time to start. Oh, I should continue exploring the island. Hopefully the island, rather. Giant continent, more like. I don't think we can reach those. They can barely reach us if we stick our necks out. Oh, but they can shoot further when they're leading the target. Interesting. Found some more biters. And some behemoth worms. Let's be careful of that. I think we're running out of continent. Yes. That's everything. So once we clear those three, four, uh oh, where are they? Careful. Gonna take scratch damage here. Once we clear these little bases, uh, that's the end of the threat on this planet. We can do a trim. And I'm not running them into that without supervision. This is all going very smoothly. You are in creative mod? Uh, no. No, this is a regular save. Uh, space nerd. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The mod is called Space Exploration. Alright. So we should probably start building that nuclear power plant. Uh, I was going to say over here, but it makes a lot more sense if the robo network can reach it more easily. Uh, how big is it? Oh, wow, it's bigger than I remembered. <laughs> okay. Um, I might just put it over here. Especially since we can get water from two different directions. This way. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. He can move... Oh, the satellite view, yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you, full band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again also. And I don't know if I said Mad Mike, good to see you also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, let's grab some more stuff. And we're not going to need the landfill. Let's get building. Glad I brought some extra pipe, since we're not going to be putting this in the water. Fun fact, if you got your science research going, you can use up your 25 degrees C thermofluid. Uh, I don't know how true that is, like I might... I completely forgot about this pro- oh, hey, it's happening, good. Fantastic. That's actually empty enough that hopefully uh, this pipe down here, yes, is sufficiently empty that this will be able to output immediately once it resolves whatever other bottleneck it has. Why is this not moving? We're lacking all of all things. Huh. When did we run out of coal? We had so much coal that it became the primary resource that we had to destroy over here. In a way, I'm actually glad to see this thing not doing anything for a while. 
I guess our consumption of all of the resources are just pretty well balanced. Interesting. So now the question is, where do we get some more coal? I only got 200k, 25 degree thermo storage left. I am endlessly researched the cargo rocket research. You can destroy resources? Yeah, I had to get creative in order to do it. Uh, can you? Um, so what I'm doing here is... So this... These uh, drop-off stations are super duper low priority. Um, they're also on an encoded network ID that's different from the mines, so that these resources will never get taken straight here. Um, they only, they're only taken from, for example, the core mining that gives us infinite resources, but specific ratios of each. So, stations like that, that do not have the different uh, virtual uh, train network ID. Stone, for example, can go from here to here. It's super low priority, so the last place any resource goes. And it's only when our storage um, for that resource as well is completely full um, that we start destroying resources and the way we do that is we make delivery cannon uh, capsules shove them full of whatever resource uh, it was stone previously but we actually got to the point where instead of having too much stone that we couldn't get rid of uh, we actually needed it so I changed it over to coal, but um, yeah, we shove some arbitrary resource in here, we make delivery cannon capsule, we point it at requester chests um, that are full of stuff, and when the bots stop moving, we fire the cannons and destroy these chests. And then the resources that get spilled out on the ground get picked up by the construction bots and brought back to where they need to go. It's an abomination and cheating to do so. Do you really want me to just keep building more and more storages until the end of time instead? I mean, in some places it would have helped, except really what would have happened is that core mining would keep stopping whenever we run out of storage space for one resource or another. Um, but yeah, that's how I destroy excess items. You should be able to send stuff into the sun. That would require a lot more energy. Uh, let's grab... Some more stuffs. I need nuclear things. That's a lot. You should be able to send stuff. Oh, I read that again. Oops. Streamlabs bot tricked me into thinking there was another line. Okay. Did I bring enough for just one of these, or was it two? I think it was one. Why am I carrying a million substations as well? Alright. I will also... Put a bunch of stuff in the cargo rocket that I don't want to keep here. Excuse me. Uh, whoops. 
And I'm going to have a system to pick up everything that's not the core fragments at the other end. What are we doing? Uh, more of these, please. And these. And... Uh, some of those. I should probably bring the construction spiders over. They may be carrying... They're definitely carrying some relevant items. Oh, and we need to finish clearing the biters out as well, don't we? With care, because that is not the least dangerous biter base. Especially when all we have is lasers. Let's bait the biters first. And then... Let's back out. Come in from an angle that doesn't have spit everywhere. And lead the biters on a merry chase. Good enough. Right, I think that is the end of the biter threat. Fantastic. I should also go to the trouble of setting up oil because it's going to take a while to refuel uh, so we can go back home. But first, let's get nuclear power going. If we can. Oh, we've actually almost finished. Fantastic. And go finish this part. Uh, apparently we're missing a single steam turbine. Really? Really, really? You're joking. How many steam turbines did we request? Oh, there's like two others missing as well. Uh, let's see. 200 steam turbines when what we need is 192. And it seems we've missed out on four four of them. That is unfortunate to say the least. Um, I could request some more. I don't suppose it's possible to handcraft them here. We need... oh, wait, wait, what? We need big electric Oh, that's a condenser turbine. I can make two right now. 30 copper plate each, 20 pipe, small electric motor. We're going to run out of copper. There's copper here. And there's iron here as well. Yeah, it literally takes nothing but iron and copper. All right. Let's, uh, let's handcraft our way to victory. Do not tell me we're that short on heat shielding, though. Uh, heat pipe, though. You gotta be kidding. Cargo rocket safety, my ass. Okay, how much does it... It takes a ton of copper to make the heat pipe, right? Lost in transit? Yeah, I think so. Maybe there are some in the spider's trash slots. That's something I didn't think of, but... 
Uh, it doesn't look like it. They should have ended up in the Robo Network anyway. And the spiders all definitely have construction bots. Yeah. Okay. What does it take for heat pipe? We got all of our nuclear reactors, at least. And it is just as well I sent ten, because we're one short. Uh, we only have one spare, as opposed to two. Um... Yeah, I think in future I'll carry that myself. Um, that's a little bit expensive to just go missing. What are we missing here? 1, 2, 3, 18, 24, 26, 7, 8. Less than 30, I think, heat pipe. And it just takes... Copper and steel. I'm going to run out of steel after only 10. Okay. I guess we are... Uh, let me just jump in this. I guess we're setting up a short production chain just for iron, copper, and steel. A bot just placed one of your missing turbines? Uh, that might have been the one that I was handcrafting. Yeah. When we were four short and I queued up two of them to be handcrafted. Alright, let's put some mines down. And rather than belt, let's just put some passive Actually, no. How fast is this going to be by itself? 1.6 per second. That's a lot less than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, let's do a few more. And some furnaces. Good thing I carry these as a matter of course. So this is going to be... don't need medium poles in this design. I should probably remove them permanently. This is going to be... 76 iron ore per second. That's suddenly a lot better. I thought this one was like 1.6. That's 12. I think it was missing the beacon or something. Okay. And... One, two, three. Iron ore. Productivity. Beacon. And then... Uh, we need power to know how fast it'll go with this mod. That's only six iron ore in on each side. 38, 38. Let's just copy this out four times. Actually, I only brought 20. Okay, let's cut that in half, I guess. Getting a little bit carried away. Let's just make this one steel. And... Input from here. Uh, 
shove it in a chest as well. Um, shove these in a chest as well. That's super overkill. It's fine. I would rather have too much than not enough. Not that there's such a thing as too much, actually. Alright. Underground belt go burn. Underground belt go burr. Power go burr. It'll be easy to check with a decon planner for what is missing. Is that mod called Rate Calculator? I have Max Rate Calculator, but it has much less functions in it. The uh, What I've heard of Rate Calculator as opposed to... Uh, sorry, this is Rate Calculator. What I've heard of Max Rate Calculator that I'm jealous of is if a beacon is unpowered, it doesn't care, maybe. Um... But I do like the features and layout and everything um, for Rate Calculator. It's quite good. Alright, that's our Iron and Steel. And we need some Copper as well. Let's jump in the spider just to make it easy. Max rate calc don't need to power up anything. So what's the downside of max rate calculator? And can you use them both at once? And why don't they merge? Can't do labs and core mines, for example. Hmm. Let's copy this over here. And throw down, this is going to be copper, of course. Uh, substation, go here. Also, that's a regular belt. How fast is this going to be? Six per second on either side. Let's just point this directly at its target. And what do we got? 1 point... 1 1.6 per second. That's what I thought that we were getting from these four earlier, and then it changed its mind and said 12. What is going on? Oh, wait. No? Oh, it's because there's no beacon there. Yeah. So the spiders aren't carrying... Did I use up all the beacons I have? There's only... Okay, I... there's only eight over here, so yes. Yes, you can have both mods installed. Rate can do multiplier, electric mining, max rate can only count product. I see. Alright. I'm just going to steal these beacons, and these are just here for extra, 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 extra capacity in the long run. We're really just throwing this together so we can handcraft a few things. So, did we actually run out of blue belt? I think we did. Spooters don't seem to have anything. Oh, 
Okay, so what's our rate now? 12.8. We only need 6. Uh, so let's just shove on some red belt. And make a box here. Cool. Now, we needed like 30 or a little bit less. That's 300 steel. Uh, 600 copper. That definitely needs to be a stack inserter. Right. Let's get the spooders to continue building solar. I should probably have them carry more solar and accumulators. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Only 50 accumulators. How about no? Uh, how much trunk space do they have? Quite a lot. Let's make it 10 stacks of each. And 200 of these. Copy, paste. Kind of hard to see those two spiders there. Why not just all speed module? Um, good point, but we're almost there already. Uh, let's go get some steel. And... That should be... All of the heat pipe we need. And then it's just a couple more um, uh, steam turbines, I think. Let's move our spooters again. This time, finish building that. Military spooters are returning victorious. I think I'll take them home. Oh, what the... No, that's... Okay, get repaired and then get out there again. That is not what I call victorious. We must have missed an expansion or two. And they expanded even more. Alright, one, two, three, four heat, uh, heat pipe. I think we're not missing any more than that. And then we need some... Uh, iron and copper. That was a lurch. Okay, iron. And then just a little bit more copper. Always check with Ghost Deconstruction Planner. Uh, check for what? What are these bots doing? Oh, they're my bots. Oh, they were repairing. Okay. I will repair you. And... Construction Spooters, head on down here, please. Is that stone? Doesn't look like... Oh, it is stone. Right then. Uh, actually, I'm going to go place this, uh, this last steam turbine. I think I need to make one more. And I'll go with the spiders so that the front one has some lots of firepower, actually. 
I'll shove everything that we need to make uh, to get this working in a box. The construction spiders can pick them up. And multicolored chests as well. All right. I guess I'll just have the military spider pick me up, actually. And construction spooters. Place some more solar, please. Oh, I'm still handcrafting the last steam turbine as well. Or am I? That's one too many. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to swap this out for almost nothing but lasers. I'm going to be hiding in the lead spider. And the lasers will work from inside a vehicle. That includes the spidertron. So let's head over and clear out the final nests, hopefully. And we'll control the construction spiders in the meantime. Check what is missing in the construction of your blueprint. Ghost deconstruction planner. Tile ghost? Is that what you mean? Or entity ghost? Ah, okay. I never tried that one before. So if I... Nice. I should definitely make use of this. Um, that's a much easier way to see what's missing. Let's put this one here, shall we? Don't need a duplicate of that one. Uh, also, let me just make sure I've got a remote for you. And then, okay, we need how many? One, two, preferably one pump for each of these sets of uh, turbines. 721 is slightly more than half of what a pipe can handle. So, where should we put our pipes? Obviously, one lined up with this as closely as possible would be good. And... We need one over here. There's only two tiles here, as much as it looks different. So... We need this to go this way. Actually, I might have to move this. And then... This goes here. That's a pretty good fit. Then we do the same thing on this side. Let's move these up a bit. Piccadollies is a very good mod. Gonna need to move it up one more tile still. And this one's gonna go here. Can't actually put that 
pump right next to that one. Um, I th think in that case we will put this down one more tile. That's pretty good. Continuing with the pipes like so. We're going to need... Oh, that might be one too many. That's fine. Connect this one like this. Just about reaches. And then get the spooters to do their thing. And let's check on... I was a bit late checking what's going on here, but it seems like we're doing just fine. All right. Oh, and we should probably get the media defenses set up. Um, I would prefer not to have something super expensive hit by a media, as improbable as it is. It is about time to finish the stream for today, though. Uh, I will clear out these biters first. I do not want to have to remember that. And let's use the nav set up to make sure there aren't any more expansions. Just as well. Alright, so we're going to roll over that, and this will be pretty easy as well. That's slightly more dangerous, but not really. And I'm not seeing anything else. Do they expand backwards, away from your buildings? Or are they always trying to come closer? Hopefully that's the end of it. Who are we raiding today? Monkey? Now why not? Let's have a little peek at who we can raid today. Monkey, of course. All right. And while we're waiting for that, uh, I hope I'm carrying a lot of... Okay, it's fine. We can make pipe easily out of the copious iron that we just set up. Um, in the meantime, I'll plan out some more of these pipes. These two are pretty obvious. And this one goes here. How many do we have remaining? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Actually four because that one doesn't go anywhere. And six, seven, we need an eighth one down here. Uh, 
how many of these? It's one, two, three, four, sixteen. So we're about half done with that. But it looks like we are all done with the biters on our little island. Fantastic. Lot a course for home. And why don't we give Mucky a raid? Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, see you next time. Take care, Veldak. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> see you, Zoroxifor. Thank you for streaming, mate. Kind of goes off because your voice is kind of Bob Rossian. Thank you. See you, fat boy. And, uh, Quidas Gunagi? Zavoxifor? Take care, guys. Bye bye. Try and conserve our wood as much as we can. T-Hacks, thank you very much for the raid, mate. That's appreciated.